Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> hello, hello, everyone. This is your Hellhound boss, Theron. Hello, hello. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hello, hello. Hello, an explosion, Fuzzy Ducky. Hello, Taco, Himachin, Fungus, JJ, XG. Hello, hello, Andrew, no, Steph, Kermy. Welcome in, welcome in. Say, did you time your entrance with the BGM? I do that every time. Isn't it magnificent? Are you just realizing the geniusness of your boss today? <laughs> Hello, Sky. Welcome in. You see, you guys discover new things about me every day that make you think I'm a genius, don't you? It's understandable. <laughs> Well, hello, hello. Have you all been playing the new update? Because you know what time it is. <laughs> it's reverse time. <laughs> Genius is a strong word. Geniusnessness. Geniusnessness. What other word would you use? Highly intelligent, high functioning individual. It's reverse in time. <laughs> Sage is waiting one minute. <laughs> In the shadows because the timing is right. I do that. When I miss the timeline, well, I gotta, I gotta wait again. I gotta wait again. 1999 IQ genius. Exactly right, Bear. Exactly right. My favorite event story since Green Lake. I heard, I heard people liked this event even more than Green Lake or the same level as they like Green Lake. I'm like, whoa, those are strong words. And hello, Shido. Good morning to you. <laughs> yeah, your immersion is ruined. <laughs> Get immersed again. Get immersed. Get in the game. <laughs> the event is great. Have any of you actually finished the event? There's no way, right? The music is banger. The music is always so good. Even the music in the trailer was so good. I've been checking Yakuza Infinite Wealth today. Oh. I'm only at the 11th chapter in Reverse 1999. How many chapters is in this one? Nope, stuff. you are crazy. It's Fuzzy Ducky. How? how, how oh, so many of you finished the event already. How is that possible? 15. 15 parts. Okay. Cleared the event? How is this possible? How is this possible? You know what? I had to do the, I had to do the six side story on my own since we didn't have time to do it on stream together, but it was actually really good. It made me think 210 is just not it. 210 is not a homie. What's wrong with him? How, how has he not gotten thrown into the ocean? I don't understand. <laughs> no, we skip the story to watch it. To oh, that's so sweet. She was roasting 210. I was, I was like giving live messages going like, this is, this isn't it. This isn't it. <laughs> Just slapped everyone. <laughs> I skipped the story to watch it blind here. Oh, six is a real one. It's true. He was having a whole existential crisis, and two ten is like, oh, you're blessed. <laughs> two ten was not it. Six's event went full philosophical. Yeah, they even they even what was that philosopher they were there was this like Greek play they were referencing where they kill their father and marry their mother. <laughs> I'm like, wow, <laughs> they're even referencing that guy. <laughs> Welcome, Hasta. Was reading a book, was it Twilight? <laughs> Oedipus, yes. Oedipus, Oedipus. I think you pronounce it Oedipus, that guy. He, pretty strange, pretty strange. I was like, wow, wow, they're even re referencing Oedipus. I'm like, Six, I think you're doing better than he is. Don't worry so much, my guy. <laughs> Platypus, yeah, 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 that one. I saw a tweet, actually. I saw a tweet on my timeline saying platypuses, people used to think they were a myth, that they weren't real creatures. Hmm. To be fair, he blinded himself after that. Does that change things, though? Does that change things? Do you think he'll get buried with his parents? How will that work? Will it be awkward? I feel like it would be awkward. Twilight makes so much more sense once you find out it's Mormon fanfiction. 
Is, it, is Twilight the fan fiction? I thought it was the Fifty Shades of Grey, which was the fan fiction. My platypus is purple. Oh my gosh. What is the plural form of platypus? Platypi? Plata... Platypussy? <laughs> Let's go with platypi. Platypi. <laughs> Um, anyways, today, today, <laughs> it's time for the new event, 1.5, version 1.5 of Reverse 1999. Did you all see the reaction trailer we uploaded yesterday? I'm always a little late uploading those, but we're going to Australia, Australia. <laughs> I think during the end there, I was trying to do some kind of Australian, some kind of around Australia accent. But while doing it, I realized I didn't know what Australian sounded like. <laughs> so it, it, it turned out to be quite questionable. Quite questionable. Not sure, not sure what that was, to be fair. <laughs> I googled Australian phrases, Australian slang. I have some here too. We'll throw in some throughout the stream to keep things spicy and immerse ourselves, yeah? <laughs> Every time Ezra goes Nara, I lose it. Do Australians actually say Nara though? Or is that something that we've adopted? That we all think they say Nara, but they actually don't. Good day, mate. <laughs> Did you just see there? My voice malfunctioned when I tried to turn Australian. My body's rejecting it. Ah, uh, well. Hmm. Boss, can you reenact how you reacted when you realized Ezra is a boy? <laughs> it's a disaster! I can't believe this. There's no way. They better bring it up in the story that he's been trapping all of us. There's, I, they, I, huh. But then I looked up Ezra and his last name is Theodore, which makes it make more sense. He has a last name, first name. And you know what energy that screams out? Trap energy. <laughs> if you have a first name, last name, your ch percent chance of being a trap increases by 12%. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Yes. What? No? Ezra is totally a girl? Haha, ha. everyone's lying to you. Ezra's so cute. Yeah, Ezra totally looks like Baby Verdon. Puberty hit my son like a pebble. He's still going through it. He's still going through it. I was gonna pull for Ezra. <laughs> you didn't have to convince me. <laughs> Uh, all right, but let's hop in, shall we? Let's go, let's go. Uh, what? Okay. Dun, 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 boop, 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 boop. Dun, 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 dun. Anyone have trouble with the boss here? I don't know how to... I the boss is difficult in this event, too. I have no clue what the boss is, no clue. I hope there are kangaroos in the story. If there are no kangaroos then I don't know what to think anymore. I was really troubled when in the trailer there were no kangaroos. These people next door are really noisy. Boop. Could you please tell them to quiet Boop. down? <laughs> no kangaroos in the trailer. Already I was like, can we truly be in Australia if there's no kangaroos? And hello, Rabbit Sensei, welcome in. There are, oh, thank the Lord. If there's dolphins in whatever place we were in, in some kind of Greek island, there's got to be kangaroos here, don't you think? Also, the outfits! The outfits are evil. The outfits are evil. We're going for, like, some sports day theme. Some, some, uh, some glossy thighed Olympians. I... It's like, it's like, ah! <laughs> DK's outfit is going hard. It's like simple, but so... Uh, I don't understand. What is happening with her neckline here? Why are there holes in it? 
This side, this uh, splash art is really doing it justice. It's like really selling it. This whole pose, I'm sold on this pose. Like she, she is lobbing a javelin at us. Isn't that the best thing ever? <laughs> and guys, look at this. Do you see that? Do you see that? Do you see this? Wrist sweat. Wrist sweat. I've never understood why people need wristbands, you know, like those armbands tennis players wear until now. But she doesn't even hide it. So, yeah. Like the outfit is super simple. And normally, I don't know if I would pull for such an outfit, right? It's just like some short shorts and a cute tank top. But I'm like, they are selling it. They are selling it. Rui, what are you doing with that tongue? <laughs> we will be her wristband. We will be her wristband. <laughs> she has an elbow band, but she frees the wrist. Very nice. Very nice. And these splotches on her thigh. Don't they look like a sideways heart? And if it's a sideways heart, doesn't that mean she's giving us a signal? And if it's a signal related to hearts, what do hearts make you think of? Love. So isn't she saying she loves us? Yeah. 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 Anyways, and the tooth fairy oven. Oh, anyways, I can't. I, I don't even, I, I can't, I, uh. We need to go. <laughs> we can't be here anymore. I always like rewatching the trailers here too. I mean, anyways, I still don't know. Is that the Big Ben? That has to be the Big Ben. And I'm not tripping, right? It can't be some like Australian landmark that looks exactly like the Big Ben, right? You know how I think in like some countries they have a copycat of the Eiffel Tower or something like that. And they call it something like, I don't know. America's Eiffel Tower, Spain's Eiffel Tower, I don't know. It's the small Ben. It's just the clock tower. It's nothing. It's just a regular clock tower. There's no way. And hello, Rayla. Welcome in. Oh, birthday, of course. Oh, my God. I hope you're having a wonderful birthday. Happy birthday to you. I hope you're having a lots of nice cake. Little Ben, Little Ben, Mid Ben. Big Ben's little brother. I want that girly. Um, what's her name? Her name? Flannel. Desert Flannel. I want her to hang out with Blonnie. They would have so much fun together. <laughs> like, what is that? You know what I want to know? How are her clothes fireproof? Dun, 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 dun. Come on, Flammy. Let's Aww. light up the Aurora torch. She's so cute. The Uluru Games. Even just seeing this, I I I'm already picturing the music. It's already in my head. Ooh. Ooh. The music is so good each time. I don't know how they keep doing this. Oh my god, there's lyrics. There's someone singing. <laughs> Doesn't she give you kind of like... Arika Franklin kind of vibes. Ooh. Why is the music always so good? I feel like I'm just gonna have this open. <laughs> the new BGM goes hard. The question is, is the music better than the <laughs> Very good, sell it. <laughs> I stayed and listened to it for five minutes straight before starting the event. It's so good. Late 90s, right? Exactly. Mm. 
Yeah, you can like picture background, background singers, like the backup vocalists, doing snaps and swaying. Can you picture like a lineup of five backup singers just snapping and doing shoulder shimmies to the song? They're just doing like cute little side snappies. <laughs> Saturday is my fave, she's so cute. And hello, Maximo, welcome in. It's a perfect blend of 90s rock and indigenous aboriginal music. Ooh. Five Joshua's? <laughs> uh, hmm. Questionable. Ah, all right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Red soil cave. We're collecting red soil this time, I see. So let's start, shall we? Oh, wait, this seems like a terrible sign. They're already dead. I don't like the music is so happy. And they're already, hmm. Who is, who's that? Who's that? Who's, that must be Spadodia. That must be Desert Flannel. Hmm. Part one, roller coaster. A collision can spark the beginning of a story. It can also lead to a large medical bill. Uh-oh, they're dead. They've died. Well, she is some kind of first priestess of Aluru. So what does that mean? How old is she if she's the first priestess? Or was the first priestess born now? Or is she inhabiting the per first past priestess? <laughs> I need to think about this. <laughs> First casualty. Already said. Usually they end with the casualties. Ooh. G'day, you've reached Desert Flannel. Ooh. Uh. We all I'm rent the same right hotel now, room. I don't have time for calls. Please leave a message after the beep. Beep. Hello? We've only got 20 minutes before the game oh. starts. Game? Where are you? Get your ass here now, <gasps> unless you're dead. They said the ASS word. Look, look, I know you're not into these games, but you can really use the money, right? What Otherwise, kind of you games? wouldn't have come to me. What kind, what kind of games? The ones where you kill people? Not a single beam of light can pass through the thick blackout curtain. Blocked out by it is a perfect sunny day. Did they have blackout curtains in the 90s? <sighs> Ooh. If you stand me up again, we're both screwed. I, I feel like I picture people just using cardboard back in the day. <laughs> uh. <sighs> Ooh. Whatever. Just leave it to Thursday. Oh, what kind of accent is this? Is this, all, is this what Australians sound like? I expelled if I mess it up. I'm begging you. Just come over now. I like how these sounds are this. But they didn't censor the ASS. Th Thursday? This is Ozzy. Between the quilt and the bed, the bipedal animal is struggling to come back to the waking world. Wait. The 90s is now. <laughs> we don't know where in the 90s we are yet, but they have a rotary phone. But also, I'm not sure because they always use this hotel. The word is like a head-on shocking blow. Ah, oh, she has a concussion now. She has missed out on so many things. Ooh! 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 You know, when I see this background, doesn't it make you want to say stupid words like, oh, isn't this so spiffy? <laughs> I, I don't... I don't know. We missed the right junction. The roads are different from the map Mr. Slouch Hat gave us. Mr. Slouch Hat? It's too outdated to provide any useful information. Terrific. Oh! We've gone wrong again. This is like, yeah, the fourth time. Oh, we have men, whoa, men pockets here. <gasps> I did not expect med pocket to be on Australia. This patch, he doesn't, he doesn't look like he belongs here at all. He's holding like a zap gun, a zap gun needle injecting thing, wandering through the streets. Whoa! 
Since my short life is supposed to be spent in creating huge value for all the living things in this world, Foundation should have sent me another bodyguard, a more reliable uh, one. Uh. And the contact here should have offered us a more reliable map. Oh my god, he they have such sharp teeth. I am the one and only reliable bodyguard who can keep you safe from all the <laughs> others in the foundation. Verdon, Verdon is Verdon is not stepping back. You are of great significance to Laplace. They don't want you to take any risks. Verdon, yeah, I'm all you need, baby. Cities always change, and maps are supposed to follow them instead. We can go back to the last junction or keep going forward. There is a trail about 300 meters ahead, and it leads all the way to the Rolling Croc bookstore. The Rolling Croc bookstore? Do they have Crocs in the 90s? You want to check the map? When things don't work out Are one we the way, type that don't ask people for directions? See? There comes another way. Hmm? The girl coming around from the corner is the perfect choice. Uh. Hey, wait. Miss Sp oh. Spathidia, right? They just look so evil all the time. It's with how, how wide their grin is and the teeth. Um. How did they know that she was gonna? Are they? Are we stalking Spadodia? This seems illegal. Uh, do I know you? Oh my God! It's an Australian, a baby Australian. Crocs were made in 2002. Ah, so the world was safe from the Crocs back then. A bestie badge with her name on it is pinned to her chest. Clearly, she is not aware of what gives her away. Aww. Who? Who has the? Who has the matching bestie pin? Do you know the Rolling Croc bookstore? Excuse us. We're looking for a bookstore. It's called the Rolling Croc, with a hand drum made of crocodile skin oh. hanging on the signboard. You know what? Crocs should be made with crocodile skin. Why are we missing out? What do you mean crocs are great? I only stand the croc boots. Only the croc boots are high-end fashion. And that very store has the fragment of the fungus potion analysis report uh, I want. He's, you know, I think they would get along with, 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 my brain's malfunctioning. The, the girly who has potions under her skirt. <laughs> it starts with an S. Starts with an S, doesn't it? It weren't for that. Sotheby, yes. Taking a walk on this ridiculously fast. Sotheby. Besides, there's no frisbee here. Can you tell I'm terrible with names? Sotheby. The Rolling Croc. I like how everyone realized who I was talking about when I talked about this guy. Morning when I exercise. Go straight ahead, turn Sotheby. right into the lane after passing by a cafe with an orange signboard, and there Sotheby. it is. But do keep your head How could you forget we'll be Best Squirrel? It's so there. true. I was shocked I was forgetting too. Honestly, I'm disappointed in myself. The coat rack is so real. <laughs> and Sotheby Shatter. <laughs> we better be able to pull Sotheby at one point. I can take you there. I want you Sotheby and Jessica oh, still. Beep. Warm up time's almost over. I have to go. My coach is waiting for me for the punching exercise. Oh. Sorry, guys. Hope you I find pictured the her as some underground boxer, you know? I don't know if I watched too many of those movies where they're like grungy, impoverished individuals who take up boxing to get themselves out of poverty and they just like become world champions and things like that. But she seems too well adjusted to be that kind of archetype, don't you think? And do they let children do that? I don't know. Thank also, you. did you notice in this background here, doesn't this man look like he's strapped in the car with a straight jacket on? He's, he's imprisoned. He's been kidnapped. He's not okay. <laughs> there are child boxing leagues. Ooh. 
If they're old enough to crawl, they're old enough to brawl. I like that. Olympic runner, maybe. Ah, possible. Midway! Midway! Oh. Move aside! Oh. It's okay! Don't mention it! <laughs> what? <laughs> the girl is setting out again. Her crisp voice overlaps the approaching shouting. Wait! Someone's at the corner! Watch! Uh Oh, this is when they die! Oh! Ah! Oh! Uh. Ah. Oh, <laughs> same burden, same. Fire. Oh, oh, huh? I'm on fire. What's happening? Oh my god! There's no way they're actually. Oh? Fusion and weak pulse. We have to take her to the place. I... Things are going dark <sighs> on the screen. She's dying. Uh. First casualty! No! Oh, this room is so cute, though. This is like, you know, it's like all about the lighting and coloring, because if it wasn't like this, it would just be messy, right? It would be like some semi mess. Oh, they even have like the Martin amps. <laughs> the storm took. This time the storm didn't even have to come. It looks so comfy, it does, with the throws and everything. Tossing and turning. What? what happened to me? Did I really break some part of myself? Uh-oh. They said I passed out, but it doesn't feel like that She thing. lives. My vest is dusty, but I don't feel any pain at all. She tosses around in bed, crumpling the bed sheet like wadded up tissues. Maybe I need more ice water. Oh. Ice water? They don't say water. Australians don't say water? What did she say? She didn't say water. What do Australians say? I don't understand. Maybe I need more ice water. 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 Water? Water? They say the tea in Australia? Mm, no. Water. Maybe it's hot tea that I need. Water. We're learning, we're learning Australian. And takes a sip of boiling hot black tea. <laughs> oh shoot, it's not working at all. I think she's still dying. She's in the process of dying still. Should have gone to that lab lettuce place with those wacky people and had a yeah, physical yeah, yeah. examination. Let me see, their card is in, wait, no. I've turned them down. She shouldn't talk to strangers to anyway. Uh, that'll be super She's too open to thinking about following strangers. Besides, I bumped my head on the ground, but it's my stomach that's feeling sick now. I'm sure this is just a coincidence. I seldom have junk food and never miss the training at school. I know my body well. It's healthy and... Tough. Good morning, mate. I need, I, I need, I need some Australian sentences. I don't know the accent at all. Now I've mastered one word: water. <laughs> water. She says so to comfort herself, shaking her head and pulling out a photo album from under the pillow. I already took the medicine for stomach pain. Now just take a break. And just say mate myself. three times. <laughs> I feel like my mate is too North American. Mate! <laughs> oh, well, this is weird. Isn't this a little weird? Oh, no, maybe they're, they're, oh, I know I'm the weird one. They're just athletes. It's not some weird serial killer situation where we're stalking someone and collecting their photos. I watch too much Criminal Minds. <laughs> To be fair, it's even more frightening when they're slightly blurry, you know? The moment she opens the album, a breeze blows out from it. It's you see, not she's slow. not helping. This seems so serial Mural. killer. She's huffing it. Burning she's cold. breathing in the photos. 
golden panda. That already makes me feel much better. I don't know, girl. Book smell is great. Hmm. I need to sniff more books. <laughs> is it time to put stay on track? I am innocent. Mr. K no, Mr. K is fine. Living the best life. Everyone has their own way to chill out. So does Spadadia. She eagerly draws in the breeze, running her fingers along the edge of the photos. In one of the photos, an arcanist with rosy cheeks is flying on a broom, cheering for her victory. They're wizards this is now? The they first photo play in my Quidditch? collection. Mom gave it to me for my fifth birthday. In 1884, French football was very popular amongst arcanists. The Uluru games that year had more Uluru. trees than that in Uluru. any other years. Then, in 1900, St. Pavlov Foundation took over the Uluru oh. Games. Out of security concerns, Lilia writes a broom. That's true! That Are you saying Lilia's her mother? There's a lot of regulations on the rest. <laughs> Jones got first place in the game that year. Then, the games in 1938. It was the most successful one ever since the Foundation took over. It was so successful, almost everyone thought the games would be revived and brought back to the public. Lilia's only Until... 18 in this timeline. Hmm. Everything is possible with time travel. A slight sigh escapes her mouth. Now she is looking at the last page of the thin album. I wish I could see the Uluru Stadium with my own eyes again. Even for just a minute. Oh, like <sighs> oh like no, safe does, cooking. Ceremonies in there. Boss, Lilia is Russian. Before she went to Australia, she was, and then she started saying water. Next time we have to see how she says water, and then we'll know. Back then, I stood on the highest platform, igniting a flame Ooh, from the wood stadium, <laughs> and then. Flew on a rosewood branch, falling a canoe in water and gently water. pushing it forward. But the flame had a fight with me. Oh? I trembled with anger because she was such an unreasonable blockhead. Then my sight was filled with darkness. Hmm. Did she hit her head as a child? She's a child now and she definitely just hit her head. Did she hit her head even before that? Hmm. My sight? My sight? Oh my god, she was being possessed just then. She was under possession. She's even shocked. Badodia unconsciously scratches her chest and then her throat. And hello, her son. Just say something. Her son, what I was saying. What Black are these Amber. things doing in my head? Are they illusions? She's Delulu! When did I go to the desert? Since when did I... <coughs> A warm touch of itch climbs up from her stomach to her chest, squeezing itself out of her windpipe. This piano music? Like a bird fluffing its damp feathers, struggling its way out from her body. Oh no, this is a horror movie now. This is like that slime super movie movie, super movie movie thing. You know the slime movie? What's that thing called? The word I it starts with a V. Venom! It's like Venom. Or Black Swan. Uh, is the medicine working? My stomach is much better now, but my throat! It's burning! And it's she or she just has allergies. <coughs> Seasonal allergies are terrible. <coughs> oh! oh. <gasps> She's starting to believe. She's gaining the power. The Fire Nation attacked. Wait, she's taking this really well. No, 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 no. I need to see the doctor right now. 
Uh, never mind, she's not taking it that well. <laughs> Let it be fire. I've never had any allergies in my life. Yeah, sometimes allergies come with the side effect of coughing up hairballs that are on fire. Quite exciting. I'm excited for her! She's becoming fire elemental! Part 2. The Lovely Neighbor I like how we saved her from near death when she bumped into Desert Flannel. And then we just plopped her in a room all alone to just to survive on her own. I guess if a child bumped into something, you wouldn't think they would start firebending. Hmm. Let it be known, the best way to call on a neighbor has never been to climb the treetops and wait by her window late at night. Hmm, I, I don't know why, but she seems kind of criminal. Um, her, hmm. Stalker tendencies keeps a photo book of her murder victims. That's her own room, I think. Oh. She turned down her aid, but we should insist. <laughs> you just saved her? That's right. Ooh. Beep, boop, boop. Laplace reception room. Now, let's summarize what happened. Oh? You fell into a coma for 16 minutes and 30 seconds yesterday due to external impact. Wow. Then you woke up and found yourself fine. That's right. On that night, you felt an unusual burn coming up to your throat from your stomach. At the same time, you had weird illusions. And at last, you vomited a ball of fire. Mm. Yes, that's right, exactly. Uh, can you imagine all this happening to you? And the concussion and comatose section of it is the least concerning part? For one last time, are you sure no one in your family is related to the Red Dragon? <laughs> Sounds like Hartford to me. <laughs> If we hit our heads really hard, maybe we can be firebenders too. <laughs> uh, I saw Say climbing a tree trying to get in through my window last night. I would never do something like that. I would just show up at the door. 100% positive. No need I to 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 to, to uh, ruin my dignity that. like that. I denied every possibility of it. The symptom is really rare to see. Mm. I know. So, don't walk away on me. Oh, her face. Each of her hands clenches one wrist from the other two, joining them together like a floating boy line. Boy line? Boy. 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 boy, 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 boy. <laughs> and this is the Are you cool. really buying that? She has. Is this, this doesn't this look like? It looks like a Tamagotchi, doesn't it? Like a way better Tamagotchi. I don't <laughs> yeah, <doubt> boy. It. <laughs> then you're a fool. No, no. Would have lost all your clothes to any rotor that comes up to it you. It is the Tamagotchi. How come? How come? How come we don't have these? Ours are much less fun. And you, I'm warning you. Take your little claws off me. Let me go now. <gasps> hey, you were the one who burst out of nowhere and knocked me over. Now my oh no, they're right fighting. For it. No, I don't think they're in the right range to be lovers. So I don't know about the enemies to lovers storyline. What is this? Yeah, best friend. You mean this smidge of zombie fire? You reckon this is the first time an Arcanist sees it? Can get you 20 of these in two days in any workshop. You gotta oh. try harder if you wanna fool me. <laughs> is this bad idea, kid? Exactly. That's why I'm saying no enemies to lovers. I'm a reasonable individual. You know what I think it's gonna become? It's gonna become enemies to best friends. You know how she had that best friend patch with her name on it? 
I'm picturing it like, you know, those broken heart ones where there's a matching other half and then they're gonna become best friends and she's gonna give her the other half because actually she never had a best friend to give the other half to. Doesn't that sound lovely? I think that's great. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm not a liar. I saw that ball of fire come out of my mouth. <laughs> Irritated by their skepticism, skepticism, she shoves the fire into her mouth. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God. <laughs> oh, my. You frauds never stop coming up with new scams. No cheat, no eat. Heard that before? No cheat, no eat. Go home with your fake fire. She thinks if like she's kind of like doing this, street mood. They will crawl into your magician. house the She's like a street and magician and she's like, I'm not buying it. Because lies are their favorite food. But there is no evidence to prove <laughs> that she's Australia, telling no. <laughs> Evidence? I have more than enough. Thank you for learning how to speak Australian. How come she hates her so much? She climbed up the tree outside my oh. window and was shouting and screaming there in the middle of the oh. night. The moment I went outside, she took me here like she was carrying a bag of groceries. Well, <laughs> it's just the start of some great grand friendship. One may infer that she was shocked by the fire vomiting and thus displayed abnormal behaviors. My God, don't you have adults at home to put some sense in your head? 14. Haven't they taught you not to trust the stranger's words? Especially if they show up at late hours? It's a stranger? I know something's wrong with my head, and I'm not even sure who I really am anymore. But you shouldn't have forgotten me. Oh. We're neighbors, Desert Flannel. I live three streets away. I even said hello to you. Oh. She's getting so coldly rejected. Three streets away? How does it make us neighbors? That's also true. That's kind of strange. <laughs> and I don't think our little covered street is part of your fancy community. Oh. Where people sit by the white fountain. There's and classism. The street gardens. The last time I checked, I was not from some rich immigrant family. There's class. Oh my God. This is, this could have been a romance if it wasn't weird. Maybe she's 14 too. Maybe Desert Flannel is also 14. Oh, Desert Flannel is 17. Hmm. Spatadia 14. Hmm. Still kind of weird. At that age, the age difference just seems like too enormous. It's too strange. No matter what you're looking for, well, I'll go with the best phone, friend storyline. I don't care less about it. The only thing I care about is that my landlord will kick me out if I fail to pay rent this month. So let me go. <laughs> Got it, a bad romance. Desert Flannel struggles, pulls her arm out of the grip, and storms off. No, Aww. it wasn't me. This rejection is so cold. Fatadia jumps up from the sofa and grabs Desert Flannel's collar roll, but loses her balance. She's strangling her. Like toppling dominoes, the three of them fall over each other and tumble down on the ground. <gasps> I think I just nicked you in the teeth. Oh. You must not leave. At least, not before I figure out what happened to me. She thinks that's her flannel is her mom. Oh, she's like attached like a baby bird. Things are flashing in my mind now. Sometimes the past, sometimes the present. The true the enemy present. landlords, it's I true. I remember I can sing, but soon I forget how to do that. Oh, no. I remember the crowd who worshipped me on their knees. They're running somewhere like the Uluru Stadium. Something hot. She's hot lost bonfire? it completely. I, is that a bonfire? Anyway, no matter what it is, I'm just an ordinary person like anyone else living at the end of the century. Right. It shouldn't be in my mind. There must be something wrong with me. It must be her fault. Parts? I mean, they bumped into each other and then she turned cray cray. I can't just go nuts now. My training plan. It's. It's all ruined. Oh. 
I even have a game to play at the end of the year. Oh. So Spendidia is not an arca arcanist. That's cool. Yeah, she doesn't seem like one or she doesn't know she is one. It would be cool if she's not. And then she just fist fights as her abilities. Or she's a fist fighting arcanist. Relax. The symptoms may not last. What if it's an Sensing Edward situation and she's 114 years old? Hmm. Okay then. <laughs> Given the complexity of the situation, I think she you is need a more arcanist. detailed okay. physical examination to find the crux. Thus, you need to ship another person. I think so too. Uh, I guess she's closer in age with Burden, but I'm not feeling the chemistry. We will help you and take care of you. Oh, but now she's, now she's doing that. Until you completely recover. Or so say, forever. Become completely normal again. It could be forever. It's like when one person in the relationship is sick and they're like, I'll, I'll take care of you forever. <laughs> Verdon is 16 though. 16 and 14? Ew. Oh my god, I thought she just said ew. I thought she just said ew. I'm like, well, hold on there. I was still considering. <laughs> but she said you. Okay, well, she she said enough. I don't think it's gonna work. Both my mom and dad aren't home right now. I'm on my own. It's all over for me if the condition gets worse. Uh oh. At least that's how it goes in the TV. Don't jump to the worst conclusion yet. Follow me. Okay. Thank you. Oh. Spatterdia wipes off the tears in her eyes and keeps up with Verdon, but soon they both stop and turn back to the one still on the sofa. <sighs> what? What are you staring at? Oh. She's having a body checkup. Do I have to tag along? You have to be there for moral support. You're her mother now. You're going to sneak away for those part-time jobs, aren't you? Fine, genius. You win. Murmuring something, Desert Flannel unwillingly follows the team. Mm. Oi! You with the suitcase. Do you know how uh. I can get a job here? Looks like they pay their employees well. <laughs> She's working it. Interesting, interesting. Are we gonna experiment on her? Don't you think if there's like some uh, girl who's suddenly coughing up fire, they would do evil experiments on them? Very classic, very classic anime. I think Ezra is similar age as Benedia. Ooh, okay. Ooh! On that grind set, exactly. Part three, Chinga Chinga. What's that? Chinga Chinga? When they saw the fluorescence in the forest, the flickering inspiration, the essence of a human soul, they shouted as loudly as they desired. Gotta say, Desert Flannel's hair is really nice. It really is. She has a whole scrunchy situation. Laplace Clinic. Uh-oh. I don't know if I like it here. Any foundation here clinic is seems Spathidia's nefarious. Physical examination. What is with this eyewear? This medical staff, they look different here. Oh, how sweet. They even got you the Salvia Zopiclone patches. Honestly, would you trust Med Pocket to be your doctor? Med Pocket gives some mad scientist vibes. If there's puppies in the room, I trust. If there's not, I'd be skeptical. And why do these look like this? What is this? Hmm, I'm not gonna say what I think. If the illusions get too real and you can't sleep, use them. No, never. Trust Med Pocket with Med, Med Pocket with your puppies. So, so we turn Med Pocket into a vet. That sounds good. As long as Mesmer isn't here, then it's okay. That's true as well. I'd rather have Tooth Fairy be my doctor, but you'll be missing some teeth afterwards. Is that okay? Okay. Thanks. But I need to ask my coach if I can use it. Oh. Don't worry. 
It's been approved by the Therapeutic Goods Administration of Campbell. The mm. ingredients include salvia, mint, and a hallucination potion. They can neutralize the side effect mm. perfectly. Mm. Salvia sounds suspiciously close to saliva. <laughs> you mentioned we're thinking the same thing. The researcher opens the girl's medical record, takes off the patch sticking to the cover, and slides it to the girl. Actually, you're quite the lucky one, you know. That old map shows there used to be stairs where you fell down, oh. with over a hundred steps. Thank goodness oh. you live in the right time. Oh. Otherwise, you would have tumbled all the way down there. Look at them. They're doing the thing. They're doing the thing. They're doing the thing. Does, hmm, does that mean, did she die in her past life by falling down those stairs? <gasps> That's so gruesome, though. Hmm. And she's getting, like, like, what's it, what's it called? Like, trauma echoes from when she died in her past life? So she merged bodies? In that case, hmm. no one can tell what you would vomit, fire, or maybe something even worse. His bedside manner is worse hmm. than 37. It's not very good. Med Pocket's voice dies down like a flame being blown out. Muted for a while, Med Pocket briskly collects the files on the table and walks towards the door. Wait here. I need to get someone. A weirdo for sure, yet the best Another person weirdo. we can turn to for this problem. <gasps> so have you pulled first banner day yet? Not yet. I'll be trying my luck after near the end of today's stream. All right. I All think that's right. the last thing I'd like to hear from a doctor. Would you just? Like, I want to get my Ooh. hand, Sheila. Ooh, well, the so good doctor cute. here will have to cut this hand off later because of oh. necrosis. Mm. Sheila. Uh, I will. But can I hold it oh. for another five minutes, please? I'm so sort of nervous. They're so cute. She was holding her hand. Oh, she really is like a big sister. Just got Ulu today, actually. Looking forward to burn team. Congratulations. I want Desert Flannel so bad. She's such a big mood throughout the entire story. <laughs> I can feel it already. <gasps> you got her, Tamper. <sighs> Hmm. That's right. Breathe in, breathe out. Then unbend the fingers. Uh -oh. I'm also human. I feel pain too, sweetheart. <laughs> the footsteps of the mysterious guest coming from the hallway are getting closer and closer. I can't believe how lucky I am. Oh. We haven't seen a living case for decades. Oh my god! How does Ezra sound the most Australian out of everyone? Did you hear that? Prime Australian. Oh my god! He, there's a little mushroom photo attached to He's the, oh This is exciting. Thank you for letting me know about this medicine pocket. So Australian. Not at all, Ezra, my dear friend. See, I always keep you and your weird little mushrooms at the back of my That's mind. That's right. He was so Med Pocket was getting if you could mushroom give them to juice. me without leaving any records in Laplace's system next time. Uh, bribery. Anyway, we can talk about that later. Now, go check out the girl. She might be very useful for your paper on Arcanum. Are we going to start growing mushrooms? Of course. On them? I'll tend to her in a moment. I just want to tell you how much I appreciate your thoughtfulness. I've been waiting for this for too long. Ezra turns directly to Spanodia. What? It's mushroom time. The young researcher walks to her, as steady as a boat floating on the water, smiling. Me? Me? You mean me? Me? Certainly, Miss Spathodia. I came for you. Oh my god! I've been briefed on your case and Is had a basic love? understanding of the inner flame temperature and the fuel Did through the laboratory Did you see the I, I have not. Here's a list summarizing all the conditions. It's still a draft, but please, take a look. She sees the list with dense writing in ink that has barely dried. Since your condition is stabilized, and as a teenager, 
you're still in a developmental stage, I'd recommend you to run a test which is more friendly and pleasant to your nose. Ezra grabs a Y-shaped metal rod and a piece of cotton-like material and holds them in his palm. Hmm. Now, please blink three oh my times God. this dowsing rod and blow on it as lightly as possible. Please blink three times. Okay. I thought he was gonna stuff that up her nose. What? Well, what's this? Oh, no. Not like that. Just be gentle with it. Lower your voice so, uh, that you don't blow away the spores on the filter. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. The white filter paper almost touches the tip of her nose. She can't say no to such a gentle and soft request like that. So she closes her eyes, lowers and lowers her voice, and repeats the instruction to herself. Uh, okay. Blink three times. They're they're sporing blood. her. <sighs> Ooh. Be careful. The fluorescent spores on the filter paper curl immediately and turn a cherry ember color. And we're going to roll it up and fix it on the dowsing rod. Ha! <sighs> now time will do its magic. Doctor. Is there a cure for my head? Wait, is that- She's gonna start growing shrooms on the her body. The smell of mushroom? Oh my god! He's using her to grow mushrooms! He's using her nasal juices, her nasal particles, to spore up. It is related to mushrooms, and I'm not a doctor. Why are you here then? Please forgive me, Miss Spathodia. I was so overjoyed I forgot to introduce myself. What? What? Arrest this child. Hello. I'm Ezra. Uh-huh. I'm a human researcher at the Laplace Australia branch. My research is mostly on the diversity I'm of not a doctor is not body. what I want to hear. I'm very exactly. thrilled to meet you. You're not a doctor? Just a researcher. Can we and sue him now? And you're walking on Oh, a human. A human? A human? That's right. It's a shame that I didn't become a member of the human? Arcane study team, but I'm equally interested in mushrooms. Really? I enjoy this job. Not an arcanist. First playable human. <gasps> really? He just fights people with the power of mushrooms? What? Spanadia turns pale, holding her face, and steps back in horrified dis- Yeah, you're gonna turn into a mushroom. It's over for you. So, they get you here to treat me, which means- Mushroom. I'm not a descendant of the red dragon, but that of mushrooms? Mushroom. I'm a fire-breathing mushroom now? <laughs> Wait, this sounds like a great Pokemon. A fire-breathing mushroom? No. I'm not here to diagnose your abnormality, Miss Spathodia. You're perfectly healthy. Your brain CT result looks normal, and I can see you're in the Mario! In a stricter medical sense, you're almost one of the healthiest people I've ever seen. Huh, finally someone has a sharp eye. Okay. So the truth has been unraveled. There has never been any illusions, nor is anybody putting on some strange, absurd, fire-spitting show. And she's she gonna spit some lie. fire at her, isn't she? Please take a look at this. Look at these shrooms that are going. Wait, they're 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 being birthed, mushroom birthing. According to the analysis. The core of a fire consists of an obsidian gravel that has 22 evenly distributed layers. This is no modern thing. It's old. Mm -hmm. Dating back thousands of years. What? What do you mean? Whose side are you on? Um, have I made it difficult for you to understand? Oh my god! Ezra's doing the... I'm sorry, you're dumb. I'll... I'll, I'll word it dumber. <laughs> well, you'll know when you see it. Please bear with me for five minutes. Beep. 
Holding the metal rod, Esther switches the buttons on the machine. The moths in the backpack exhales, letting out a cloud of mist. This per he Esther should not be allowed to go into a patient's room like this and drug up people and then spore fume the whole room. This seems not okay. Have you heard of the reincarnators? Oh my god, this is what they do. They do these kind of things on some weird voodoo retreats. They smoke it up with shrooms and say, Remember your past lives and those who came before you. What do you see? Y you know? Ezra unfolds the filter paper and holds the two ends of the rod. It's one of the Arcanus lineages, a rare kind. Since this power He's the guy that could be fun triggered, and its manifestation could happen anywhere, anytime, mm -hmm. and in any fashion, it is hard to identify them when there is one. The most well known case. <laughs> we don't go to those Dorothy kinds of parties. London. It's true. Dorothy. Dorothy. Dorothy? Like the yellow brick road, Dorothy? Mm hmm. She fell down the stairs in her own house and lost every vital sign. Oh. But she woke again and became the ancient Egyptian Bentrashid. Okay. You... You're not saying Dorothy that Dorothy is her own cancer? Yeah. Am I thinking about the person with the umbrella? The, like, the, the other British thing? I think I'm thinking about the other British thing. Accidentally. I mixed Wizards of Oz plus... The, the 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 British nanny. Well, what's her name? Emily Blunt reprised her role. Mary Poppins. Yeah, I mixed up Mary Poppins and the Yellow Brick Road together. <laughs> Miss Spathodia is a reincarnator. Those so-called illusions are not a result of any brain damage. Mary Poppins. They were once real. It's her past. Based on the past cases, I think Ezra is trying to get us to join his cult. Turmoil. That could be short or longer than anyone could expect, but eventually she will become herself again. The old self. Mm. But how is that possible? Everybody knows that the reincarnators are just some lousy made up tabloid stories. Mm. That's right. Sensationalism, that's the mainstream opinion about the reincarnators. In Dorothy's case, her experience of learning Egyptian and her career as an archaeologist also caused controversies over her true lineage, which is understandable since people haven't seen a reincarnator in years. Hmm. <laughs> He's a homie. I will do shrooms with that's right, yeah. I, I, I would probably hold Ezra by the head, you know, just one hand, one hand blocking Ezra's path <laughs> as a universal stop sign. <laughs> but at the beginning of the 20th century, when Dorothy fell down the I stairs, I like how Desert Flannel is listening to Ezra and saying, yeah, 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 makes sense. But when, its Australia branch. when Spadadia was Carrying explaining, she was funding. like, nah. Local fun the fungi art. study is a brand the new fungi direction, study. and it has been secretly developing next to the public since, like the Australian honey fungus, mm -hmm. growing without getting anyone's that attention. That sounds so delicious. Australian honey fungus. Doesn't that sound da dangerously delicious? Like honey dipped mushrooms? The facts will speak for themselves. Please allow me to prove it to you. That have an Australian accent? Medicine pocket, could you please turn off the lights for us? Cheers. 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 The most Australian individual. The poles of that metal fork sway in the dark room, letting out a buzzing sound like a bee floating in the air. When we talk about reincarnation, the real question behind it is whether the soul exists. Because the soul is commonly considered to be the essence of what makes a person who he or she is. If a person dies, his or her soul will return to the ever-circulating network. Network? 
Oh, oh my god, it's Attack on Titan now. The Titan Network. The Spinal Fluid Network. A theory developed from Riemann's on the hypotheses which underlie geometry describe the world as an eternal, vast, invisible yet ubiquitous net. And as the new story described, a reincarnator is a miracle where a soul disappears from point A and shows up at point B without any clear reasons. It's the Titans, Verdon. It's obviously the Titans. Exactly, Miss Verdon. I'm amazed that you know so much about the reincarnators. Hmm, the sparkling spores floating in the humid air slowly approach each other and intertwine. That report described the reincarnators is incomprehensible and spontaneous. But the truth is, we've never gotten close enough to observe and study them. Like the neural network, you go into the cloud. Yeah. Verdon is an ether guy fan. I think so. Uh, huh? What's the shiny powder on my fingers? Now there's powder. There's spore, spore fumes, and now there's suspicious white sparkling powder. I don't know about this. I don't know about this. Spadadia looks upward and can't help from letting out a small cry. Oh. Hush. It's like oh, the neural network it really is. Textbook. You have a sharp sense. You arcanus never cease to amaze me. The latest studies have shown that the working mechanism of mushroom flora may be similar to the brains, and we have made some progress from that. This is why the study of mushrooms is important. It enriches our understanding of the reincarnators, for they are hard to find. The mushrooms are actually... Actually... The most important part of finding and understanding the reincarnators. Interesting. And doesn't Ezra look so cute in this photo? You mean... These things floating in the air? Mushrooms? Our neural network is made out of shrooms. Hmm. The Australian honey fungus. The mushrooms living beneath the ground. It's a pathogenic gem that causes roots to rot. It was first discovered in a eucalyptus plantation in southeastern Australia. At the end of the 1970s, Laplace researchers who intervened in the local environment protection found that, unlike other fungi which reproduce through the spreading of spores, the honey fungi spread by the growth of their underground mycelia all over the forest. Mmm. I don't understand the mushroom part, but okay. Fun fact, mushroom is more like an animal than a plant. Oh? Are we going to the Mushroom Kingdom? I think we are. Ezra always looking cute. It's true, though. The mushroom never- I feel like I'm trying to remember my- My... Help up science classes. About the mycelia. You think the water it's like cycle. that invisible net? Yes. A net hiding underground. In which you see an object disappear at point A. And magically emerge again at point B. But it's the actually the mycelia. Are very similar to Australian honey fungus in this aspect. And with her breath, a small amount of her saliva, and the dowsing rod, we will be able to find her net and map her movements on it. She re he really was harvesting her saliva. That's messed up. And when her gaze emblazes the Omphalotus nidiformis, Omphal... Omphalotus... What? Isn't that a ghost fungus? Mm. Yes, the ghost fungus. How did the she know that? The glow in the dark. They're called Chinga in older times, oh. which means spirit and soul, the sparkle of ideas in human minds. Mm, mushrooms that glow in the dark? If the mushroom has simulated Spathodea's net, then these two light spots are... The one closer to us represents the current Miss Spathodea, and the father and brighter one is what put her through the changes now. So... 
That's me in the past? You're just a little shroom. And I... I will gradually turn into... Huh? She's horrified. This is like human 37 mushroom type. Some taste pretty damn good too. Rip to those who first taste the mushrooms to find out which one is edible. I think these glow in the dark ones aren't the good ones. Probably not the good ones. The light is back in the room, the ventilator emitting two consecutive notifications as it extracts the sparkling lights out together with the heavy moisture in the air. Five minutes. We are right on time. Hmm. Miss Desert Flannel, how do you feel? Damn it! Oh. If she's so badly injured, how much would the compensation be? <laughs> Do you know how my life will be? Being heavily in debt? Oh my gosh! She's thinking about the legal repercussions. Miss Desert Flannel, you're nibbling at your nails. You will get hurt from it. Please stop. Please nibble on these shrooms or this uh, dowsing rod instead. Me? Is Ezra safe to eat though? Definitely you, not. Are you talking to me? You were saying? Yes. I was asking how yes. you were doing. Did you yes. get my drift? Water. Yes. I... I think... Well, I know it's highly unlikely that this little girl was hatched from a dragon's egg, but... Is it possible that she's just some kind of uncommon lizard? You know, <laughs> the really ancient ones? Any... anything but a reincarnator. You're also worried about money problems? Honestly, same. Same, same. Typical American reaction to a medical bill? Is the Australian uh, medical system as bad as the states? But... but what you said doesn't make sense. What do you mean it doesn't make sense? There was fire coming out mm. of her mouth! Desert Flannel points at the fire placed on the couch, which is still burning, and shakes her digital pet machine. And my only family here is a pixel emu! Does it Emu. make sense to you? I don't follow. I know this is not your fault. It's just your arcanist nature taking over. It's very normal if you got too carried away by your emotions and became delusional and hysterical. Wait, Ezra is throwing so much shade. The shade all over the place. The hidden shade. It's always the it's always the sweet looking ones that are the most dangerous. The most dangerous. Please, take my hand. I was once trying to help. And now he's out. trying to risk her. Now what a monster. In and out. Me? I'm not hysterical. Slap with your Tamagotchi. <laughs> he's cute AF. He's not dangerous. He's been shrooming everyone. Oh! Hey, what do you know about our cases? Oh. You're not even one of us. Uh oh, she's getting angry. Said the outraged bystander. In the white room, the argument snowballs, tumbling out of control, letting a wisp of smoke slither across the room unnoticed. Everyone. They're all dying. Please, believe me that I meant you no harm, Miss Bethadia. I was only trying to help. Right. Gaslight gatekeep girl boss. <laughs> help? How? By calling us the <laughs> Exactly. He was calling us all Delulu. He was calling us all Delulu. There's nothing I hate more than humans like you saying that others are over-emotional. So true! Wait! <laughs> Spitting facts. People. No, nothing like that. Tackle him! Mrs. Bathadia, it is not my Rip out his hat, mushroom. Or anyone. It's just biologically, arcanists tend to be more sensitive and easily affected. Is this true? I also like arcanists. Almost as much as I'm interested in mushrooms. That's why I started. He wasn't him. even talking about Spat, he was on her side. Yeah. But now I'm now Spat is talking about the collective whole of the Arcanists. The years of racism. Arcanicism. 
Do you Coming smell something there. burning? Your shrooms. It's your shrooms. Oh, it's the whole room. Oh, we're, it's over. Before they realize that the flame placed on the couch has already devoured its seat and the floor, spread to the door and completely blocked their way out. The burning heat is approaching at a terrifying speed. How did no one notice? Fire! It's the flame I spat out! Why did it grow so large? Did no one... Did no one pay attention to the flame she spat out? And, okay. I tried to warn you. He is gonna get cancelled on Twitter. He is. It's over. I like how Verdon's always like this. So calm in the face of disaster and going like, Yeah, I noticed the disaster ten minutes ago. And I've been silently trying to warn you. It has grown larger and larger as your lizard hypothesis heated up. <laughs> I'm sure the guards of Laplace will break in soon. Break in? Can't they just open the door? Oh! Security of Laplace no, Research no. Center Hospital taking over. All patients and non-staff, please follow me to evacuate the room. Nice. Evaluating fire level. Level two. Is that good? Extinguishing the fire. Level two? Source of ignition confirmed. Request for permission to use kangaroo foam fire extinguisher three. Oh, <laughs> kangaroo foam. Are you? Are they shooting out kangaroos to block the fire? Can you imagine? They just throw kangaroos at the fire, and the kangaroos just like roll in the fire to extinguish it. <laughs> You can't put out my flame. Oh. It's important for me. Very, very important. Oh. I She's grown why, connected. But it's important. This is for sure. Those bubble kangaroos will kick its butt once they see oh. the flames. I don't want that. I'll protect it for you. Don't worry. Oh. Are we gonna fight the kangaroo bubbles? Oh. <laughs> Let's go. All right, then. I don't know what to do with my team comps anymore. Now that I have 37 and 6, I have no clue what to do anymore. Also, off screen, I saw 6 as ulti, and it's crazy. It is insane. Insane. Wait, I Let's have try to the this. records first. We now like the I fire. What the heck? Where are the kangaroos? Why are they here? Give me the kangaroos! Boo! You are very overleveled, so just do whatever. <laughs> That's so funny. Boop. Boop. The moment of silence. Boop. They're just little games. Until the torch is lit. Left hands up. Now right hands up. You're fighting the foam, you're fighting the staff spraying the foam. I would have let them spray Don't it first so I could see the kangaroos. We mess it all up. The moment of utterance. Stop me up. Learn from silence. Learn from silence. Woohoo! Release! No kangaroos still? My god. The moment of silence. Like time for tongues to speak of truth. They're just little games. Hmm. They're just little games. The scale Look at this. Soul has tilted. Look the at balance this. Balance needs to be restored. Look at that. What the heck? Nice. He summons a giant Greek statue. Peace and love. And torches up the whole island. And talks to the gods. Isn't he so cool? The ult is insane. He does everything. The moment of silence. I don't know why I buffed ourselves, but. The moment of utterance. Stop me up. Until the torch is lit. You see, he does baby Benefit torch and then he does mega torch. Hip, hip, yeah, I see a man being obliterated. <laughs> By the god, exactly. Oh yes, the power of math. <laughs> it is the power of math. He does do everything. Six is OP. Right! He buffs, debuffs, and then he lights up a giant Greek statue, summons the god, and smites you. Hmm. Hmm. So glad I skipped. <laughs> there you go. 
Now you're free from the fuzzy foam. He also cleanses it. Exactly! He's insane! When I first saw that ult, I was like, what the? What is... Oh my... I, I think it might be one of my... I think it might be my favorite ult, actually. Right now. <laughs> I think so. Hmm. Thank goodness. Um, I mean, thank you. Though I still smell like a joey. What the heck? I'm much better now. What does that mean? I still smell like a joey? Who's joey? He stinks so bad that you smell like a joey? A joey. I smell like a joey. Hmm. Joey is baby kangaroo. Aww. Wait. Cute. But also, okay, I see. Smell like a joey. In the early stages of our Joe equals kangaroo. Oh. The rate of Arcanus losing control can reach 74.3%. But it doesn't Joey, mean that you Joey. can set a fire in the clinic of the Laplace I like Research Shemaine's Center Hospital. More. Oh, I like his too, yeah. Or fight the security to protect the, the mountain bongoing. <laughs> doesn't mean you can set fire to the clinic. Hmm, noted. Oh, I know. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do this. And I have no idea why my flame grew so... So large all of a sudden. That never happened before. Girl, you just found out you could spit out fire a day ago. Maybe this morning. I know I should have been responsible and noticed the anomaly earlier. I... I was completely lost in the argument. She buries her face in her hands and is still trying to bury it even deeper. The silver lining is, as the fire was still under control, they used the kangaroo foam fire extinguisher, and thus it didn't cause any casualties. Garland, Please write hello. down your emotional changes and physical reactions that occurred during the incident on this sheet of paper. We'll keep tracking your physical health information. Mental no, don't touch a kangaroo's pouch. It's gross? Riz really? Is it like a pouch of poo? Is it like a pouch of joey poo? I always wondered, if they're carrying the babies inside of their pouch, and they have to go do a little, you know, I mean. The concentration potion is on that table, and there are blankets and type 2 PMMA safety boxes in the cabinet under the table. Please keep the hazard sealed for safekeeping. Oh, no, it's flesh. It's just a flap. Oh, no, it's more like it's made of mucus <gasps> for easy access. Interesting. Interesting. It's like, you know, if you've ever touched a sheep, a sheep, they're actually really nasty. They're so greasy. Then you touch them and you're like, whoa, my hand just got, I, it really just went, it, it's like, they don't, it's like hair that's been unwashed for months. <laughs> so I picture it's a similar vibe. Okay, got it. You are still in an unstable state. Please have a rest. <laughs> alive or dead one? And a live one. Alive. If you need anything, please press the call bell on your left and our nursing staff will come to help. The medical staff collects the tray and walks out of the clinic, leaving the room in silence again. Hmm. Well, in case we burn another room. <laughs> <sighs> She's already mentally prepared to do it again. The box she mentioned is... Oh, here it is. By the way, did you check out the Tooth Fairy and Pavia skins and garbage? I haven't taken a closer look yet. I'm scared. I'm frightened about what will happen to me. Oh! No, baby flame. She opened the transparent box and leans in towards the little flame. Oh, I know Frida met his little flame. Oh. But we have no choice. Sorry, buddy. Aww. Flame looks friend shape. It really does. She reaches out a hand to push the flame into the box with great caution. Oh. All right, listen. My teacher said fire needs oxygen to burn. So I'll leave a small window for you to breathe. It's going to fly on out there, isn't it? Like Tinkerbell? gonna become it's gonna become 
a little fairy, fly out and escape and live their best life? Have you checked the DK skin I have? I checked the splash art out, but I haven't gotten a closer look either. I got pa the Pavia skin. Love the new animations. Oh. I have oh. Haunted. This sounds kind of terrifying. It's like a ghost haunting you. I have always wanted your soul. To see you. That's even, that's creepy too. That's also strange. What? Exactly. Go. Start running, child, before I eat you. Uh, are you talking? Gosh, the call bell. Where's the call bell? Uh oh. Go back to Uru. Oh? He must go back to Uluru Cave. Mm. Uluru? Uluru Games? You mean THE Uluru Games? Uluru. Oh, make it clear, little flame, make it clear! What, what are you- the, you, you, the flame was very clear! <laughs> Spadadia grabs the flame in a hurry. The sparkling flame starts devouring her palm, bite by bite! Uh oh. Far faster than expected, the flame spreads over her, and her cry for help fades into the burning red. <gasps> Is the little flame evil all along? Hmm. Imagine being haunted by a ghost saying, We must do another temple. It's, it'll be over. It'll be all over. Hmm. This is like, this is like those manga where there's some time travel gapping situation going like, we must go back to when we were in love and living our best life together. And they're like, no, this isn't my reality now. And then they fall in love with another person in the modern timeline and have to split up. And then in the end, the person of the past says, it's okay, live your best life. I'm dead now. Go on with this other man. I'll watch over you. <laughs> what manga is that? You, there's many of these. There's many of these. <laughs> back to life, back to reality. What, what NTR is that? The ghost past isekai NTR type. <laughs> The thing is, every time I read a manga or a light novel, after, I never bother reading what the title is. I just like scroll past them on websites and read them, finish reading the whole thing without even reading the title because I'm like, why would I read the title? It's in like Romanized Japanese. I don't know what that means. <laughs> I think there's an anime about that, but I forgot the name. Exactly, we never remember the name. It's NTR of the old lover is dead. The old lover is dead. It's just like some ghost apparition situation. Actually, is it similar to the movie? Isn't it similar to the movie, the really popular animated movie? Where they're in different timelines and she's like some shrine girl who like ferments her spit? What's it called? Something day, name, my, your name, your name. <laughs> it's similar to that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Very good. Good talk. Very good talk. <laughs> uh, part four. Cross. They're telling us to find Jesus. Good to know. A beautiful strike. These flames always hit their mark. You are complicating yourself? I'm a very complicated individual. I have layers like an onion. Kimi no nawa. Mm, that. We're back at Green Lake. Lakeside Garden. You can't trick me like that. Is this oh. the past fashion of dealing with emergencies? Who? What is this? What, are? Oh my God! They're the foam kangaroos. Are these the foam kangaroos? I swear. 
swear, if anyone walks past us now, school is or Deros, I will be instantly killed by their silent judgment. No, they'll think you're adorable. As a matter oh. of fact, when the patient or the subject As becomes unstable fact. during contact, it is necessary to isolate them from the triggering cause immediately. But we just burnt down the isolation oh. room. <sighs> no wonder head nurse Judith was so angry. Oh, I want them to look like this. Oh my god, the kangaroo speaks. Oh, uh, rug. Oh my god, the kangaroo is beating up Verdon. Do you see this? It's punching Verdon in the face. Wow, it's violent. Miss Burton, are you alright? That kangaroo is punching <laughs> your nose. Oh, so the MC powers don't work on everything. Get her! Oh I'm my fine. god, look at this little guy. Just hey, and Verdon's just like looking at it. Wait, this is so cute. Look at this. It's so cute. Peace was never an option. Oh, it's so angry. So is the kangaroo. The kangaroo is very fine. Doing great. Verdon is like I saw and got through worse, exactly. I'm sure Medicine Pocket will bring us the concentration potion soon. Mmm. Yes. They'd better. We look like a bunch of kangaroos, feel like kangaroos, and even ugh, smell like kangaroos. You mean like Joes and Joeys. Get a right, Flannel. He's fighting until the end, yeah. He's he's trying to win this war. We will make tomorrow's headline of the Australian Oh my god, there's the one on Ezra's lap. out on a public lawn at midnight. That'd be the end uh, of our social lives as humans and the beginning of a life as kangaroos. Oh. They're going to turn into make kangaroos. Make the headline. Ah, I see. Please, don't worry. I've already made it on the headlines five times for my mushroom poisoning. <laughs> I can picture Ezra saying Although something like that. it's true that Medicine Pocket is a frequent celebrity on the news, <gasps> the concentration potion is not their work. Besides, we didn't use anything new Med in its Pocket's on the news often? Med Pocket is a frequent celebrity on the news. Does Med Pocket terrorize the populace? I'm not worried about that guy. I was talking about myself. There are paparazzi following me around these days. Say my friend made me an Apple bookmark and has his voice line. And now she is making Matilda go. Oh, that's so cute. Wait, that's adorable. Today I don't herald the end. I can watch. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Hello, Lord. Welcome in. Welcome in. Look at the baby kangaroos. I didn't know you were famous. Famous? Is she famous? I mean, she she does look like she could be. I'm not. It's just that someone wants my name spread in a bad way. Ugh, trust me, you should never piss off the paparazzi. Hmm. She has enemies, actually. Made sure to finish everything IRL fast to be able to come earlier. How's it going? Say it's going well. How are you? How are you? You should turn to the police for help. <laughs> Ezra with the A plus. Yeah, yeah, just shut up and keep your huh. eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Okay. I will toss his shoes on the power lines if I find him here. Oh, okay. Miss Desert Flannel, watch your back. Okay. Okay. Oh, it burns. What is happening? <gasps> Wait, is it because they're connected? Are Flannel and Spadodia connected by soul? Because when she bumped into her is when she started coughing out fire. Is this the power of love? The non-romantic kind of love? The young girl leaps to her feet, letting out a scream as the bench beneath her turns scorching hot. I like how Verdon is still so calm. 
Burden is just side-eyeing this. The bombastic side-eye. I hope the kangaroo survives. Fire? Miss Desert Flannel, the lake is over there. Get in there! Uh. Lake? I, I can't swim! Oh my... Burden has seen it all. <laughs> Burden's like, this is nice. I'm starting to feel cold out here. Oh no, the kangaroos are crying! There are people shouting, feet running, and sparks flying. Ah, this stupid kangaroo kicked me oh. in the eye. Oh, move, move! I can't see where the lake is. Uh oh. Wait, calm down. Calm. She's on. She's on fire. You are not in No, danger. the kangaroo. She the is. nose kangaroo is gone. Are you joking? Is she talking to the kangaroo? Who's getting burned? Huh? Oh, There's nothing on my skin. No, they're gone. I thought Burden was talking to the kangaroos, going like, Look, kangaroos, don't worry. You're not the one getting hurt. It's Flannel who's getting hurt. I'm like, do you not care about Flannel at all? The unwanted visitor stands in front of them, panting as if she's burning from her body temperature. Her golden reflection sways in the water like real flames. Oh. oh, wait, she looks so cool. Wait, looking good. Nice. She's like dripping molten lava. Grace. The burning flame bounces from desert flannel to Ezra. Uh oh, uh. oh. Hot singles in your area. Just burning the foam on my skin. Is that some new method developed to get rid of the potion? But what is Miss Spathadia doing here? She the head nurse shouldn't have let an ice cream patient walk around freely. Say you did, gotta make your hair like that too. I think so. Gosh, mate, she's on fire. Gosh, mate. Does she even remotely look stable to you? Oh. <laughs> Rice like a deer, stepping on the red soil where vines and woods grow. Mm -hmm. The glare and heat rush through her like waves. Spanadia, engulfed in flame, approaches Desert Flannel with fiery eyes, mouth, heart, and body, and takes her into her arms. I'm they're obviously trying to make this a romance, but it's weird. Oh, uh, dead. Uh, uh, She's as well heated as a boiling pot. We can't let her go on like this. Her brain is going to no, be No, no. I think actually, head. I think she just wants to rest on her. She wants to rest on some pillows. She's just tired. I think Flannel does give off big sister energy. She's like annoyed big sister energy. Say she your daughter with. <laughs> This is my little baby. Desert Flannel strives to get her out of control, patting Spatadia on the cheeks with her cold hand. Let go, Spatadia! Your temperature is dangerously high. Chill out. I'm not. Oh. A lizard. And she's like daydreaming. Concrete number two with cream is the best dish in pie material. Oh, okay. Concrete number two with cream is the best dish and pipe material. Noted. Spathadia is suffering confusion. It's probably the flames doing. I think she's dying. We need to separate them first. Okay. Okay. Miss Vitton, please step Sleepwalking? Back. Yeah. Doesn't she seem like she's sleepwalking? Oh! Oh no! He's gonna... He's gonna mushroom them. A mist with the color of turquoise blows towards the girls. Oi! What are you spraying? <coughs> I'm still here! Hey! Poor Flannel. Soon both Desert Flannel's complaints and Spanadia's sleep talk quiet down. This is just some spores, Miss Desert Flannel. Worry not. That does not help. They are the tranquilizer that the locals used to pacify animals. That's and not. Was that doesn't help either. Early times for hunting. 
As long as we call my He's, dad, he doesn't even bother spraying them in a controlled space. Just out in the wild. They're, these sp wait, we're releasing spores out when we're in a forest. It's gonna mass produce and spread, and then this whole area is gonna insta drug people. She gave her tranquilizer for animals. <laughs> exactly. A perfect bowling strike. Games. Oh. Games. Games. It didn't even work. We need the real games. This is where sportsmanship originates. Young people. <laughs> Young people. Now she's speaking like a boomer. Young people these days. Young people. They don't understand. Sportsmanship. Yeah. Young people need cats. Oh. And strawberries. Yeah. Well, cat jam it is. <laughs> she knows about the cat jam. Do 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 do. Did I use the wrong mushroom? Miss Bathadia has become even more restless. What about Miss Desert Flannel? Cat is jam. She Ezra manages to get up, looking at the turquoise green mist without dusting himself off. No, you didn't. She's behaving exactly the way you described. Uh, uh. Miss Desert Flannel? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hmm. I think I think Ezra made everything worse. Do you can think? Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't she adorable? Their fierce friend, with a smile on her face, is rolling on the ground like a cat, getting high on cat mints. She keeps reaching her hands to the sky as if she's trying to catch something. Oh no, they're all going into nya 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 mode. Is this the house for me? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> At least Does they're happy. Does this mean I don't have to <laughs> pay rent anymore? She's uh, so real. <laughs> She's so real. <laughs> Looks Just like give him tequila. It's more effective. I think so too. Stop with the shrooms. Just tequila. I will bring her back to normal immediately. It won't take m more than five minutes. Oh. What do you think Miss Bathody is going to We're attack again? We're in a forest. How has the forest not burned down? What you need is the reopening of the Screw gate. the landlord. The, the landlord really is a true land. villain. And... And the retrieval of the rock. The rock. Ugh. And her fire is getting stronger. Get down! Uh-oh. Oh! She has fireballs now. The moment they duck, the scorching hot fire fires flies over the top of their We're head. We're running out of time. Let's deal with the burning issue first. Say what happened to your daughter? I let my children have freedom, and this is what happens. Taking a deep breath, Ezra grabs the strap even tighter. I will. I will try my best. I like how we're all just counting on the mushrooms for some reason. Oh. Oh! Oh! We're fighting! Now you go. Who ate beans? Who ate beans? Oh my god! We're fighting! Oh! We get a four-man team! We get, uh, we get all of them. We even get the beans. She looks so cute! Doesn't she look like a Pokemon? Wait! Adorbs! Competitive spirit for every 10 HP loss, damage bonus plus 10. Wait, that's crazy. Isn't that 10 HP lost? Whoa. When attacked, applies two stacks of burn. This is the first patch where they have the burn concept for the characters, right? To the caster and attacker, burn. Healing taken minus 15%. At the end of the round, takes the holder's attack times 4%. Genesis damage stackable up to 30 times. Burn is regarded as one negative status. Removes 50% of the stacks when triggered. Ooh. 
You can one-shot her? Me? But I don't want to. We need to be gentle. How do we be gentle? We need to be gentle. The we buff Tooth Fairy. Then we use a Tooth yes. Fairy debuff. Then we do that. <laughs> we walk in long night. Gentle, gentle, too very gentle. Oh my god, no! We're gonna one shot her! Are you a rat in our numbers? No! Victory secured. I should excuse myself. Mmm. 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 Um. <laughs> you killed the baby! <laughs> no! <laughs> Gently, she says. Um, well, that, that was weird. There was a bug in the game. It was just a little bug. How oh. strange. Where am I? <laughs> Stay as a bad mom. Parental <laughs> violence! <laughs> This was real gentle. Overpowered characters for this event. I, I need to pull out my level one Matildaki instead. What are you doing here, guys? I thought you were driven away. Great. She doesn't She's remember the violence. Know. It's okay. She may be traumatized and she oh, repressed those memories of her beating up her up, but the problem solved for now. Oh! Spatadia can't maintain her balance and falls to the ground. Spatadia! The games. Oh. She raises one arm with all her strength and grasps the cuff of the girl standing in front of her. We must revive. Uller games. As the rocks rumble on the knees. The boss is really weak here. I mean, I the enemy boss. On. Very good. Again, <laughs> clarification. <laughs> we will check if her organs are injured by the high temperature after returning to Laplace. You can visit her tomorrow after 11 a.m. Um, can we visit her? I thought you will send her to the wards on the 13th floor. Go with the flow when you can't fight it. <laughs> what a strange thing to say. We've now understood what will happen if we separate you and keep her alone someplace else. What's more, Laplace can't lose another clinic. Ah, uh, so the solution is to burn rooms. I see. And then you'll get this what is you great. want. Thank you. Hmm. Questionable. The white ambulance drives away from the street. So, are you sure those mushrooms won't cause any damage to my brain and body? Like lower IQ levels, oh. lung diseases, or skin allergy? Um, if you think it's necessary, I will accompany you to Laplace for some follow up checkups. Of course, you don't have to pay for the tests. The fee will be deducted from my salary. Please, don't you worry about the money. You have to be paying money. child support? You see, Ezra's paying for the child support. He's saying don't worry about the money. Okay, okay, enough. I trust you. I don't need a kid to pay the doctor for me. Besides, it's embarrassing enough to be put down by mushrooms. <laughs> Not to mention that I'll be giving that guy the story he craved if I was hospitalized. That guy? Oh, oh, you mean the journalist following you? That's right, she has a stalker. Oh. Huh? Oh! Was that a flash? <sighs> Speak of the devil. She has a stalker? <sighs> what is this? Silently cursing, Desert Flannel scans the bush in the dark with a serious look on her face. Come out yourself! Don't make me force you! The bush rustles. Seconds later, a man stands up, his black shirt indistinguishable from the darkness, making his face appear as if it were floating in the air. <laughs> oh! He was on the trailer! Makua, don't you dare Mekua. involve others. 
This is between you and me. Oh, she's gonna beat him up. I've told you long ago that one day I will make you feel the same misery that I did. What a weird thing I've to been say. Following you all the time. What a weird thing to moment. say. <gasps> the moment of vengeance. What a weird thing to say. <laughs> Getting weirder. <laughs> Now, I have more than enough photos. Oh, he's... He's a creep. As for these other people, you didn't strike me as such a kind-hearted person. I didn't know you were so shameless. Let's see what tomorrow's newspaper has to say about this Miss Photographer. Were they just competing photographers and she got the job and now he's going on a revenge arc? A hideous smile foam forms. A hideous smile forms on that floating face. Makawa then disappears in the shadow. No! We can't let him get away! He has a photo of us! He's posting unauthorized photos Is some more. Is he your enemy? Yes. Mm, maybe Archer? Yes. What happened between you two? He's a freak. If you don't want to be one of the burning kangaroos on the headline tomorrow, shut up and start running! We have to stop We him. have click at him. <laughs> click at him now! I was thinking it was going to be click too. The description suited him perfectly. But no. Uh oh. We got a weird one. I think he's a criminal. I never know how to pronounce this. The boy, the boy, uh, the boy, <laughs> the boy balls is dead. That's definitely not how you say it, is it? How do you pronounce this? Boy, boy, you, mmm, uh, baba <laughs> There's no way that's how you say it. Baba booey? There's no way. <laughs> There's no way! Boo? E! Booey! The booey! <laughs> the booey? The booey balls! Oh! That sounds correct. The booey! Oh! The booey balls! <laughs> Alright then, thank you! <laughs> Baba booey! <laughs> Jake hands not! Welcome, my friend. Bowie. I'm learning Australian and how to speak. The Bowie Balls. Oh, she has the undercover glasses on. The teeny tiny glasses. She is so fashion. Color raised and head lowered, standing silently by the side door of the newsstand. G'day. You G'day. Uh, got the latest Australian naga here? Naga? Nice choice. Everyone is talking about it. Even the newsstand owner is stylish. What is this? Say, do you have fashionable sunglasses? Hmm. Hmm. No, I need to get some. I only have Ray Vans. A very classic Ray-Bans. I need those giant and super teeny tiny ones. I need the extremes. The strange customer snatches the paper from the newsstand owner and lapses into reading. A strange party held in the city park last night. The witness claimed to see the burning kangaroos, mushroom intoxicated... We gotta buy you some Gucci then. Gucci, Gucci, Gucci. A secret event on the public lawn? The revival of the Uluru Games? The newspaper boy grew up so bad. It's true! Can you imagine if that's the newspaper boy and they grew up to look like that? A secret event on the public lawn. The revival of the Uluru Games. Fingers clutching at the newspaper tremble. The newspaper wrinkles and breaks. It saddens us to admit that the recession and inflation have walloped some young adults. Uh. They were... Crawling in the park at night? Groaning and moaning like beasts? Dragging themselves along and losing consciousness? 
the voice, the figure, the temper, and the reaction all seems familiar. Wait, your uh -oh. voice? Uh, you... Do you have to talk to me right now? <laughs> she's so... She's so sad. Behind the wrestling newspaper is a familiar face with frowning eyebrows and bloodshot eyes. I'm busy hating my life. I don't have time for your little chit chat. No way. Desert oh. Flannel, it's really you. She really is famous. Everybody is talking about you right now, and they can really imagine. Some say you're mad. Some say you're the heroes fighting against aliens. Close. She's fighting against mushrooms. Well, the most known story is that event. Is it real that you're going to restart the games? Why not? Where's Mr. Apple? Mr. Apple has gone missing. Ro -ro 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 Regulus has gone missing too. I have nothing to do with it. It was all that Junior's fault. I was just I don't think Apple speaks Australian. Fold and open and fold and open. Does a flannel leaves through the newspaper, pacing back and forth like an animal trapped in the cage of a zoo. It was pure bad luck that I ran into those weirdos, got taken to the hospital, and let Makawa get what he wants. That's true, actually. I shouldn't have let him get away. They're probably just if in I the suitcase. <laughs> Can you I'll imagine? They're all just in the suitcase while we're wandering neck. around. That's kind of cute. Oh, look at this gibberish. He said we are the ones who eat oh. bunyips from the sewerage. A burning kangaroo and I am a nutter because I can't find a way to afford rent. This whole phrase was so Australian. I don't even I don't even know what swear word they're covering here. Like that's not how you spell I hmm bunyips bunyips. Hmm. Oh, this is great. I might as well be a kangaroo. Why At not? At least it's true that you're banging your head against the wall for rent. Uh. <sighs> Die his heads. Yeah. Be mindful that you're talking to a nada. A nada. Nada. Water. <laughs> Each time I try to say a word like an Australian, I have to remind myself water. Glared at by those sharp eyes, the newsstand owner withdraws behind the counter and puts his hands on his knees like a good boy. <sighs> Whatever. I will soon lose my part-time jobs and be kicked out oh, of the house no. where my granny lived for decades. Oh no! The crumpled newspaper is thrown into the newsstand and Desert Flannel puts her hands back in her pockets. <sighs> I'm heading back. Let me know if you know of any job vacancies. I can do a lot of things, as long as the money is good. Nah, as long as I'm paid. Oh no, the job market is terrible Wait, everywhere. Wait, there's a final. Come in, take a look at this. Ooh. Lottery tickets. This guy has great voice acting for her, a side character. A delicate wooden box is placed on the crumpled newspaper with a lot of tickets inside. So many people came here this morning asking about the Uluru oh. Games. And one hour before, the Scissors Jerry brought me this. This is a pre sale ticket to the Uluru Games? I've sold over 50 tickets at a unit price of this much. The, what? He's a scam artist. He's selling tickets for an event that he's not going to host, doesn't think is going to happen. <laughs> what? Looking around to make sure that nobody is nearby, the owner makes a gesture. Desert Flannel's jaw drops. Oh no! She lowers her gaze to the newspaper. In a lively font, the headline reads, Uluru Games. It has been suspended for too long. So long that everyone thinks society has forgotten it. But we remember. 
Our ancestors told us about those amazing and funny Gotta sports make money that big, somehow. wide, and fancy stadiums. They're like, I sold already 50 tickets, now it's your job to make the games real, or else I'm gonna be a scam artist. You don't want me to be a scam artist, do you? They all remember it. Even looking forward to it. And even bid up for a fake ticket. Mate, did you get more of these from the other gangs? The gangs are printing them fake tickets. This is insane. Even if they do actually host the real games, how are they gonna control the ticket sales now? If there's counterfeit tickets from the local Australian gangs, <laughs> the orange is up. <laughs> Two boxes left. Holding the cigarette between the knuckles of his index finger and middle fingers, the owner squats down behind the counter. His hands lift up, holding two even bigger and heavier boxes. His voice comes from These below. These are from the Slicky and Eucalyptus Brotherhood. The gang is called Slicky and Eucalyptus Brotherhood? Eucalyptus and what? Didn't catch Wish that name. Wish me luck driving home, peeps. Oh, have a safe drive. Do you have the mints that I bought from you before? The least purchased ones? You always put them at the bottom of your box. After the sounds of struggled searching, the owner, at last, pops his head back up, now covered with dust, and throws a faded iron box on All the counter. Right. Now give my ticket back and I'll put it away. I don't want any of the gangs to find out I'm dealing with the other... Oh! <laughs> They're all too slick. In front of him is an empty counter. A coin purse has been placed on the abandoned newspaper, holding no coins, but instead, gray feathers. That's what I keep telling everyone. Letting out a fatherly sigh, the news stand owner lights up another Muddy cigarette. Muddying the water is what this bad girl does. Ooh. Ooh. That's right. Desert Flannel has taken the fake tickets with her. The ones from Clippy Slicky and the Eucalyptus Brotherhood. This guy is so weird. I don't understand. She's gone. No, not to the black market. Did he plant those tickets so that she would take them? What does this mean? Sir, I heard that the Bunyips are getting restless again. Is that what true? are bunyips? <laughs> Bunny-shaped bunions? On the other end of the phone comes the noise of pitching, pinching a cigarette, followed by laughter. Oh! <laughs> His camera sh <laughs> That was so cute! <laughs> Hiding in the shadows in silence, the young girl darts past him. Ha! I'm Close, but way off. Out of it. Bunyips are a type of arcane creature that you'll meet in a moment. Oh! I'll be able to buy that house, get myself a new oven, some new clothes, and that giant wool nest for Flappy! Flappy. In a crash, some wet black monsters flip over the well lid and crawl onto the road. Ugh! Those bunyips are out again. Haven't seen them out in the sun for a while now. Ugh, I must hurry. Yeah. Wait, are they coming my way? I've got my eyes on them. They are Why is he so strange? Oh, this makes sense. Since He's the Uluru Games have made the biggest news of the week, the people are going on and on about it all day. And where else will the rumor-loving Bunyips go at this point? The last time I saw something like this was when that scandal of Mr. Pompadour broke. Mr. Pompadour. It will be a big story. Almost as certainly as a cut will bleed. He's so shady. I will pause my other projects and focus on this one. This is very kind of you. I really appreciate it. Nobody, not any arcane creatures can stop me from getting rich. Let alone that you haven't eaten enough rumors to grow into a three-floor high and multi-legged gigantic monster. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Puppy, give me <laughs> She does the, She's like a... 
<laughs> she's like Melania doing the sound effects. How Melania does the most ones and she's doing boop, 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 boop. She swiftly takes a few steps back and presses the on button on the digital pet device. A giant emu jumps out from the pixel, fluffing its feathers. Oh! Wait! Flapping! <laughs> like that smell of rumors from the ticket box? Come get it yourself! <gasps> and hello, Chaos King, welcome in! So cute! Street in Melbourne. Let's go! Oh wait, should we be using weaker characters since we're over leveled? Let's let's try out Hold Kala. I haven't used her in a while. I thought it was an academic division. Ooh, they're goopy. They're so goopy. The moment of utterance. Your ending as expected. <laughs> Bunyip is an Australian Aboriginal Fire. mythical creature. Oh! Realm turns into the uh. <laughs> I like how we're just like, uh. And there's no damage to our health bars. Rarely anything. And we're like, uh. Relax. Your ending was fated. Your ending was fated. Please, don't resist. It's happening. They're just gooping us. <laughs> We're like out healing their damage at this point. The moment of sad, the moment of utterance. We walk in long nights. Benefit from reading. <laughs> His voice lines are so funny. Benefit from reading. He's just telling us to go and study. Time for tongues to speak of truth. Is fated. The scale of your soul has tilted. The balance needs to be restored. Oh. There's more. Read. <laughs> and he's telling that to me. Very dangerous. It will all be fine. Be faithful as expected. Hello, Please. bear with me. Everything. Welcome in. Everything has its cause and effect. We have like... We have like someone summoning a Greek god and someone summoning asteroids attacking Fire. these pure, poor little creatures. It doesn't seem right. No. We need some peaceful moments. The moment of silence. We need some peaceful moments. The moment of utterance. We walk in long nights. I like how he uses that attack and only hits one. I'm in. Me too. I kept thinking it was an AOE when I was first using it because of the animation, but it is just a one-target attack. Mm. Told you I'm super healthy. You should let me go now. But you need our care, Miss Bathadia. It's also our responsibility to make sure that you're safe and stable. He'd be too broken if it was an AoE. It's true, though. When our canists were first introduced to their power, they would experience a four to twelve week adjustment period, oh. during which. They may suffer emotional breakdowns, oh. strong hallucinations, or frequent comas. Oh. Hey! Stop. <laughs> stop it! I have something very important to do right now. I mean it! I'm not gonna waste my time here! I'm fine. There'll be no more confusion, mental breakdown, hallucination, mm -hmm. or coma! Sounds good. Something very important. What is it? The young girl stares at Ezra for a doubtful long time and finally talks. I flame talked to me last night. That. Oh. Oh. 
It's heavily breathing in our ears after saying strange words to us in the middle of the night. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> yes, that more. I do need to learn how to ASMR. I need to learn from this little flame. The flame keeps hopping at a steady pace. Barodia pets it like petting a curled kitty. Now, it's asleep. I think it's exhausted after our rampage last night. Is the conversation about your changes? <laughs> Scared to teach you, I should. Of course. The moment I touched it, it crawled along my arm to my mouth oh. and went back to the stomach. Hmm. It, and all there was left in front of me was a black wall. Sorry, I'm not quite with you. Perhaps you could start from what happened then. Sure. I, I don't remember it well, though. They were blurry memories. Imagine you're looking at a plate of bacon and eggs through 30 layers of frosted glass. She's always thinking I about eating stuff. I had to get close stuff. to the glass to barely feel them. I remembered you were there, but there was also a clear window. I saw complete darkness in the window for most of the time. Girly, what are you saying? Flashing by sometimes. I believe that's your memory as a reincarnator. Just like what's written in the books. Oh. Hey! The bacon part finish. was in the books. <laughs> she knows. Uh, she knows you're saying she's the appen. I was too excited because this is the first time I see valid proof of reincarnation. Please continue. You need uh, person for sports, that's true. Actually, she has like the definition of a six pack almost. Her six pack is coming in. I think that's my memory as a reincarnator. Have you ever seen I saw my own children athletes with six packs? Just like the one I can't even imagine here. it. I'm just picturing a baby, a fresh baby with a six pack right now in I my saw mind. a lot of flames, wobbling lights, and people. The lovely young girl takes a deep breath and presses her palm against her chest. My heart has never beaten that fast. Yet, the fire in my body seemed completely natural, as if it was destined to burn inside me. It whispered just one phrase to me, again and again. Like what you mentioned last night? Lean but no six-pack yet. She has baby six-pack, it's about to be birth. Yes, the Uluru Games! Soon. I must revive the Uluru Games. What? What are you going to do? <laughs> the fortune is crazy. <laughs> security I know, right? From the local government just yet. The location of entrance to the Uluru Games was never fixed. Only few she may need Pepto if it's heartburn. It really does Arcanus sound only. like heartburn. The heartburn is getting so bad to her. There. That she wants to recreate the Uluru games. And they have been cancelled for all these years because they were completely lost in the War of 1942. Oh. Nobody has found them since. But I can find it. Because I have found my ancient self. I'm the only person in this time who has been to that land. And my flame is my compass. Oh, she's so positive now. Spadadia throws back the covers and sits up on the bed. Although I have not 1942, yet figured out what all about the conflicts with the flame, I felt so whole again when we burned together. Made it home safely, welcome I'm back. I'm sure it will help me and unite with me. Because it trusts me so much that it traveled all the way here through the endless darkness and rainy seasons to come out of my mouth. Oh, that's actually so... That's actually so nice, but also... <laughs> It's here for me. And now, it's going to take me somewhere else. I'll follow wherever it goes. Oh. And what's with this, like, Parisian kind of <laughs> music? She seizes the cup of the visitor, looking at her with her puppy dog eyes. Thor Burden, you said you would take care of me. Oh. Will you come with me? Oh. I need a revival squad and 
friends who understand and support each other. A revival other, squad. Just the way the flame and I do. By then, you'll go to the stadium too, and we'll run together. Oh. I promise it'll be a wonderful place where you'll never regret going. You will enjoy the Uluru Games. This is gonna be really difficult. Mm. Can you imagine, like, trying to host the Olympics? <laughs> I've seen pictures of the Uluru Games in the school library collection a long time ago. I was not a fan of the routine physical fitness test at school, but I don't think any Arcanist would say no to witnessing the revival of the once magnificent games. Oh, so... I'm more than willing to join you in bringing back the games. It will be a wonderful new beginning. Yay! A handshake is offered and accepted to symbolize their successful cooperation. Well, yes! Thank you! Oh. I see. You're shouldering extremely important responsibility, Miss Bathadia. I will apply for you to be discharged and explain all this to Judith. Doesn't she seem still a little Delulu? Ezra, you're not concerned about the Delulu at all? <laughs> and thank you, Ezra! I won't forget your contribution to the revival of the Uluru Games! She's like, I'm gonna write your name on a rock. I'm deeply honored to have this chance to help. Just letting you know, boss, since I pulled the sprite, you will get no luck out of me! It's not optional. Then I will get the luck the transference is not back. optional. Hmm? Huh? What's that for? I need to prepare as many mushrooms as possible so that I can better assist you on the Oh, way. they're all going together. You? On the way? She points at herself and then at Ezra. You're coming too? Of course. We've been through so many things together. Am I Aww. not part of the team? Oh. No, of course not. <laughs> How can I take you and the Revival Squad? That's crazy! Wait! Wait! Wait a second, this was such a wholesome moment! No! Oh no! No, of course not! Oh no! The games are meant for Canis! You oh. read the documents, right? Since the very beginning of history, humans have made countless attempts to find the entrance to the stadium, yet none of them made it! It's oh. just not for humans. Oh no. It's the reverse arcanicism. No muggles if allowed. If you're a fan of sports, you can totally watch those held by humans. There will be a boxing event in Melbourne tomorrow at the National Tennis Centre at Flinders Park. No, no, Miss Bathadia. I'm not interested in any games. The only reason why I'm coming along is because you haven't fully recovered and still need medical care. Mm. Besides... I hope to collect more information about reincarnators from you. I feel like he's gonna take part in it. I will not disturb Racism 1999 added again, and Please, never stops. Let me come with you. Oh, it's going to be how can you say no? Us. He even has his hand up. Wait. Collect information? You're monitoring me. She was unaffected by that entirely. Since when did I grant you the permission to do that? I never said yes. I don't want to be studied or published on newspapers like the reincarnator you talked about. I don't play this game. Does the luck taking still apply to me? Yes, because I need my luck for next week. Too bad. I have my senior exam for my bachelor's program on Friday this upcoming week. I will tr return it just for Friday. <laughs> Our research does not need to be published in the newspaper. <gasps> Good luck on we your can do exams. it in a more subtle and secure manner. I will not design any tasks for you to perform, nor will I force you to take any potions. My job is to observe, record, mm. and ensure your health and safety. Mm. Like what we do with the mushrooms. But I'm a living arcanist, not a mushroom. That's I've had what you of think. Everyone watching. The mushrooms have already claimed you. Looking up and down at Ezra, she hesitates and returns to her bed, wrapping herself up with a quilt I like a burrito. I don't want to be the impression added to someone's academic achievement, or a subject of the paper that'll help you switch fields. But you'll be famous. Ah, I didn't explain it right. Miss Bathadia, please listen to me. I have never changed my heart as a researcher, 
and I care about Arcanus as much as I care about mushrooms. <laughs> it was never my intention to use you as a career boost. You are such a rare opportunity to us. That because none of us know where, and where the next reincarnator will be found. If we miss this opportunity, the academic circle may have to wait for another decade to further their research. <laughs> Let's hope Ezra doesn't get ritually sacrificed. Yeah. The discovery you and I made may shock many. Our names might go down in history, but most importantly, it's going to help a lot of people. Would this convince you? Have you heard you? of Chengiz, invented by Dame Parodi? It was inspired you know by what? a long-legged shepherd I've been craving pierogies. And it has helped many athletes with disabilities to walk and run again. <laughs> this just reminded me of pierogies. I want pierogies. Welcome back, Camilla. How's your daughter? She's going through a rebellious phase right now. Long-legged shepherd in France helped many athletes with disability. That's so nice. What a nice shot. Aww. Oh! <laughs> a long, painful moan escapes the little boxer's mouth. Miss Bethadia, you look miserable in the blanket. She's she's burritoing. Keep going, Ezra. You're very close. Break the burrito. Me? Close to what? I don't follow. Keep talking about the sports helping lives. Burden comes. Oh. Wow. Well, Speaking uh -oh. of close, guess who is close to becoming the most successful business person here? <laughs> I thought Vernon was going in for the kill, but instead, Desert Flannel with the corporate angle. Desert Flannel? Where have you been? Hi! What are the white eyes for? I'm not some monster crawling out of the sewage. Eka, I hope I'm saying that right. Hello, hello. She scrapes the mud from under her shoes and trots into the room, carrying three wooden you boxes. You look a mess. <laughs> what happened? She, she doesn't hold her punches. Uh, I didn't ask you why you are crouching in bed like an ostrich, did I? So maybe you can return the favor and keep your nose out of my business, yes? <laughs> she is so Australian. And what really matters is the good stuff here. Desert Flannel knocks on the cover of a box and is satisfied with the crisp sound. You wouldn't know how unbelievably lucky we are, my dear business part uh, uh, friends. <laughs> she doesn't even want to give them part of the cut. Yeah, no, I don't. Ugh, Ezra alone is already too much information for my brain. Fine, you restless and humorless people. Now hold tight and get ready. The rubber band is being stretched further and further above the box. We will bring back the Uluru Games! Woo! Mm. Woo! Um. <laughs> Why are they like this? Hey, what kind of reaction is this? Why are you quiet as stones? This is a great idea. And you're giving me this? In the room brimmed with wordless doubt and silence, a hand reaches up from beneath the All quilt. Right. Join my revival squad. Oh, she got an invite so fast. She didn't even have to come. Like, Flannel didn't even have to try to convince her to join the revival squad. And. Then there's Ezra, just, just discriminated I... against to do the mushrooms and, you know, being human. <laughs> oh, this, this raise hand no, pose. Oh, oh. <laughs> poor Ezra. Hashtag justice for Ezra. Spadadia retracts her hand away from the burrito in a movement so fast it blurs. On the choppy water, several buoy balls are connected together they are floating towards the depths of the pool hand in hand oh poor ezra no normies allowed oh that's discrimination it really is actually do 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 I'm 
music is too good. Oh, and what do we have here? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All right. I These think it's time. Are really noisy. Could you please tell them? I think it's time. Oh, actually, we should check out the fits. The fits. New Kofri, thank you! Bonkers! New code. Aura, aura, aura? What is that? Is, like a, is that like an ara ara? But aura, aura, aura? <laughs> oh, thank you! Thank you, thank you. And then let's like take a look see at the outfits garment shop. <gasps> uh why are they so let's do let's do Pavia. Oh, yeah. Whoa What does his arm say? What is this tattoo? La Cosa Novo? No I, I, hmm? No clue. <laughs> the Jojo rep. Yeah, why are they doing that? La Casa Nostra. What does that mean? Oh, and what's on his knuckles? Ooh. Sports outfits, man. Very nice, right? Doesn't he look so... He has so many tattoos. He has like two hand tattoos saying something. One on his arm and one across his neck. First of North Star. <laughs> it's the mafia? He's part of the mafia? Oh my 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 my! Oh my my! Ooh! Calves. Ooh! Oh, he got the spiky shoes. Oh, 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 ex mafia. Oh, I thought he was just a werewolf. Very nice. The visor, like sunglasses, the earrings. I really like his splash art with him doing the high jump. Very nice. And he still has his lollipop and his little mini playable version. Cute. I like his hair like that. It does look very good. Very nice. He's canonically a mafia member. Say <laughs> is being weird. <laughs> He's a pole jumper. <laughs> Correct. I'm surprised they make a four-star skin pay skin and not even a bow pass skin. That's true, actually. You should see his newer animations. I want to see. Oh, oh, then. Oh, oh my. Uh, um, um, <laughs> <laughs> There's a thread on Twitter that lists what the characters reference. And if I recall correctly, Pavia mentioned there. Oh, Pavia has mentioned there. <gasps> the little tennis ball tooth fairies, that's so cute. The yellow looks so good on her. I really like this bright golden yellow on her. She looks so good. And I love how her hair is here. Like, it's kind of like windswept onto the headband. She still has some of the the gear as well. The earring. <gasps> she is dripping. Even her hair. Oh my god, it's animated. Oh, I see. Wait, that's Tooth Fairy? Exactly! Doesn't she look so good? Even her eyelashes have like a golden kind of highlight. Ooh! 
This is such a cute tennis outfit. Oh, she has the little wristband here with the teeth bracelet. That is so practical. Don't have the teeth straight on the flesh. Ooh. She is glistening. Oh my god, even her tennis racket is so cool. <gasps> Wonder if she's good at tennis. Can you imagine she's like just is dressed up in this outfit and then she's not good at tennis? That is so nice. The ponytail, the headband. I love. I love. She looks so good. And her splash art too. She looks so good. This is unfair to the world. This is not fair. Anyways. Thank you, Virgin. No, the thank you. Like you mean? Oh, right. A rusty on my hair? Oh. All right, everyone. It's been a while. Okay, did you look at me for two seconds? The luck drainage has occurred. Thank you for all your business. <laughs> ah, the process is becoming more and more effective. Take my luck bus. Thank you. It's rolling time. We have quite a lot of coinage. We have quite a lot of coinage, so I'm hopeful. Plus, it's a fire-themed patch. How can... I not get anything here. Huh? How? So <laughs> it was on a different time. Look at my Did you You looked? You looked. You looked. You looked. You looked. Don't forget the syringe, you're right. The luck juice. The luck juice. Nice. Just, just a little, just a little bit. Ah! Okay, back it up now. Ah, mm, I'm feeling the power. We have quite a lot of rolls. Quite a lot of rolls. And we are one, one, two, three, four. We're four in, we're four in. Is that 6,620 gems? That is correct. And 17 Unilogies. So we gotta get something. We have to get something. We have to have something. We're four in our lucky number. Now let's go. 14. What's this? Hmm, is it orange enough? I don't know. I don't, hmm. Is it? There, hmm. I'm so bad at telling you which one it it's hmm. Hmm? Is it? There's no way. Hmm? There's no way. We're only 14 in. Pure 
good luck. I've never had such an early. Oh my. Oh, the gacha gods love me. Now <laughs> give it back. Oh, okay. You have to stare at my nose for two seconds. Okay. No, don't take it all. Don't take it all. Don't take it all. <laughs> you want the 50-50 for all of us who lost it. We have been vindicated. I shall represent all of you. And now I shall return back some luck. And grant all of you your 50-50 wins. Your nose is non-existent. That's part of the trap. <laughs> Very nice. Wow. We are insane. What is happening to us? We're crazy. But I want Ulu. Okay. Okay. Ulu? Ulu? Uh. Uh. I can never be angry when I see her. I think I have her maxed out on portraits. Given that I don't need a room and my stay may pose a fire hazard. Please, an airy fireplace will suit me just fine. She's a little tin tin. The way she's like, oh, I didn't notice. She has like little rock paintings surrounding her, like little bits of rock paintings. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> Stop your tab. Oh, we got a DK. What? I'm so... I got another apple! We got two apples! Wait, we're crazy! We're insane! We're insane. Do we need portraits for Ulu? Hmm... Do we need portraits for Ulu? Hmm... I'm done, goodbye. <laughs> Is she the same VA as Benedia? No, we don't? Okay. Should we test them out? Is that the key on Raid Up on this banner? I get her a lot in my world. I don't think she is. She's not. Don't want Mushroom Boy? That's true. I need to save up for some for some Mushroom Boy. All right, let's see our, our people. We got... Oh, we Are maxed you here out. To confirm this we Apple's maxed out Apple date? already. Don't worry. Speak. Uh, hi. <laughs> Whenever DK says speak, I'm just like, uh. I got a big D from this banner. It's cursed. Oh my god. That's right. Big D is now part of the regular banner rolling. How frightening. Maybe. We're too poor. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Ulu. Wow, another worshiper. <laughs> Have a seat. She's so naughty. She's all like hee hee. As expected, another follower. Wait, she has a lot more attitude than I thought she did. She's cute. <laughs> Hmm. I'm a little... I'm a little... Hmm. I've been farming a lot of the star banner thingies. The star page insight thingies. Because I got both 6 and 37. 
I've just been farming. Wait, you're not even a star type. <laughs> um, she's so sassy, she really is. Let's try to fight something. Let's try to fight something. Do we have anything in hard mode we can fight? We do! Surprise! Let's try it out. Let's try them both out. Do you think we'll survive? We must, right? Let's have... Spatodia. And then first. Don't you think Burn they would second. make such good friends with Kanjira? Bungie, we got a new job. They look like they would be so fun together. What's the recommended level? Inside one. Okay. Hmm. Maybe we'll need more support than that. Let's do this. Let's do this. We need, we need him, we need a six here to protect us just a little bit. Let's go. Who like beans? Who like beans? Oh! Four characters are in, okay. I think we'll be okay. Oh, and we're fighting ourselves. This is like the, the pure Pokemon state. This is the evolved Pokemon. Okay. Self buff gains three stack of pre ignition, two stacks of exhilaration, and one stack of preparation. Wait, you get a lot of stuff. A lot of just stuff. One target attack deals 160 mental. It's another mental damage dealer. I always have so many mental damage dealer. They need an adult, that's why six is here, exactly. When you're two hours late again, Hanako. <laughs> It's like Goku and Vegeta versus Goku. <laughs> it's, that's so true. This attack gains penetration rate plus 25 against targets afflicted with burn. One target attack deals 200%. Oh, wait. Oh, she's, oh, I see, I see. Ulu is mental, Spadadia is reality. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Ready? I heard that they work well together. Is Go. that true? Nice tactic. But <laughs> once a reality and once a mental. Play. Ooh! Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Cold? That hurts, huh? Whoa. Those punches feel so heavy. Oh! Oh! Oh my god, she already has. Ooh. What is this precast? Precast. Ready. Ready. I'm scared I'm gonna kill her. Hmm. The moment of silence. Seeing stars. Very well. We're doing the same damage as each other now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Girl, protect yourself. I don't know, she might kill you instead. I think she might kill us instead. Hmm. Let's, 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 That's right. Time for ears to listen. Given that. Huh, you should have brought Tooth Fairy instead. I really should have. Learn from silence. Are you irrational numbers? Oh! <laughs> we still have Ulu. Go! We lost this Mind boxing match. Actions. Actually, let's do this. The do that. Do Ready? that. 
do that. Until the torch is lit. The wheel of flame. They're so weak. And avoid. I need it. Oh. No. No. Time for tongues to speak of truth. Welcome to the world of numbers. Say is bad at parenting. Just try again. Gonna have to sleep soon. Night. Thank you so much for coming by, monkey. The Are we actually not beating their ass? The balance needs to be restored. Yeah, we need to try again. I need to see their ulti. Wait, she's so strong now. Oh my god. Time for ears to listen. Benefit from reading. She doesn't want to read. <laughs> Girl! Wait, it's okay. We have an ultimate. Time for tongues to speak of truth. The scale of your soul has tilted. The balance needs to I be am back restored. from eating tacos. I hope your tacos were yums. Oh! We both died together! We are the champions. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, you see, everyone? Believe. You just have to believe. Mutual destruction. Very nice. That's so gunny. What is that? Funny. Oh, I thought you were trying to try out some Australian slang on me just then. Let's bring in Toothberry. For one, two. I didn't have anything attached to her, that's why. That was obviously my bad. Let's try this. I believe in Tooth Fairy. My duty lies with you. Look at her! She's crazy! She comes in fighting. Boss, this is Insight 2 now. It's okay, we have Tooth Fairy. We have Tooth Fairy, don't worry. Be happy. Live a good life. A moment of utterance. Multi buffing. That's right. No wait, let's do let's do the buff. Moment of silence. Buff. Nice buff. buff. Why did I have hmm. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> The moment of utterance. Yes, 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 yes. Buff. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nice yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Ready? <laughs> <laughs> like a lighter. Seeing stars. Um, she's feeling it. She's feeling it. Oh my god. Oh my god. As long as she doesn't hit us twice, we're okay. You know? As long as she doesn't hit us twice, we're fine. What is that? What does this pre cast to me? That's right. Nice tactic. No worries. Go! That hurts, huh? That hurts, huh? Look, she's dying. Hiya! Hiya! She's so cute. Oh my god! Oh, no, don't! Hmm. 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 The moment of silence. That's right. Hmm. The moment of utterance. Nice tactic. Thank you for your cooperation. Who is She's resting? Long nights. Stars. Okay. Oh my. We're fine. We're doing fine. We're doing fine, everyone. We're doing fine. And we have the ulti. That's all we really ever needed. No worries. The moment of silence. Come on, this is the one punch. 
Come back to me. Learn from silence. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Look at she turns the whole place into like the Ululu Stadium. Wait, she's so cool. Andreas, hello. She's so cool. Relax. We need some peaceful moments. The moment of utterance. I smell the scent of mint oil. Enemy used fire. It's very effective on the fire girl. From reading. Oh. I think we're dead. But I still have faith. Relax. The moment of silence. Breathe. We're not looking too good. She keeps getting stronger. Yeah, it's silence. a little concerning. That hurts, huh? She's getting stronger too, though. Okay. Oh, you. No worries. Hmm. Nice Relax. Hey! The Lulu Stadium. Come back to me. She constantly have her ult up. We need Melania in here, actually. Okay. One Punch Man, your child showed up in Australia. We need you to come and get her, please. We really do. No what resonance is Tooth Fairy? I think she has resonance th three. Three. I think all most of my hard carries are resonance three, level four. How's the story going for you? It's quite fun. I'm excited for them to actually go on their little road trip adventure. Ah. Resonance, not insight. Resonance? I think they're at six, maybe? Let me check. To dead. You didn't have to announce that part. The child is a menace. It's not fair. Oh, okay, five. Stop talking. Residence five. It's time for hmm? Melania's residence you? nine. Sorry. Regulus eight. It's always good to have you here. Mm. No matter, back. Most of them are at five, though. Of course you are. Wow, another worshipper. <laughs> Have a you seat. should get resonance to. <gasps> what? That level ten at least. Oh my god. These people next door are really noisy. Could you please tell them to quiet? Insight three, level thirty. Resonance ten is most optimal. That sounds insane. All right, we're gonna try one more time to see Ulu's ulti. But we're bringing Melania in. We're bringing in... Milan's. Wait, give me 10 more. And we're bringing in Regulus. Wait, I have to hide the records we'll do this. first. <laughs> if we don't survive like this, I'll be shocked. No worries. Start me up. Go. Ready? <sighs> rock, rock, rock. Change the world. A blade. Blade. Uh, yeah. She's so cute. Yeah, Please punch I'm punch not... Regulus and Tooth Fairy. Please, They're not... more durable. <laughs> They're more durable. They're just okay. little games. They're just little games. Pandy. Rock, rock, rock! Change the world! I usually try out units in chapter one appetizer stage. That's smart. An unconventional choice. Oh my god, we're gonna beat up the child. A fair game. <laughs> hmm. Relax. Well, 
then. Ready? Go. They're just little I just spent 60 pulls on Spotted Dia better. Oh my god. Very no. well. oh. shower and Don't fire. forget to look at my nose. Left hands up. Now right hands up. Fire extinguish? Should it be that if she hits Ulu, she just gets stronger with her fire powers? This seems unfair. That's so mean of her. She's such a bad child. No worries. Relax. Got me up. Plan A. Thank you for your cooperation. Nothing happened. This is the first run. This is the first run, indeed. so difficult sometimes children am i right no i have no patience i would have done 637 tooth fairy and regulus mm. an unconventional choice She's holding on to one HP. <laughs> what? Hip, hip. She gets to just whack you one more time before she passes away. <laughs> well, child. <laughs> we'll test out Ulu <laughs> next. <laughs> well, hmm. What can I give? Hmm. 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 Let's go on regular story mode. One last try. Nitrogen versus coughing baby. The poor baby. Do we even need such a hard hitting tame for this level? Insight one level five. Let's get rid of Melania. And now let's try I this. Belong to this set. Give her a better side cube at least. Hmm, what should she use? I don't know what's going to work on her. More heals. Should we use a shield? Tenant's going to die. Med pocket. Me? Is everyone else dead? When the ca a carrier attacks... If they do not have, hmm. After the caster casts a single target ultimate. For each character, hmm. Maybe this one. Let's try this. This is a weird team. Let's kill time together. Is everyone else dead? Ah, Mad Pocket, you have a way with words. Ready? Go! Go! Wear gloves. Kevin that. Very well. The shower of sparks! Oh, hi. Bup, bup. Time to check my calculation. She's almost dead! Sterilize. Hmm. <laughs> I'm losing my patience. Is she gonna kill us now? It's always a risk. Either she kills us or we we kill her. Oh, thank the Lord. We're here. So much for warm ups. Go! Ready? Wear gloves. Feel it! 
Feel the beating of your heart. Oh. 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 What was that? Huh? It's already over. She does like a whole fire ring situation. That was cute though. She does like a whole circle of life fire loop. You know what? It reminds me of the Olympic rings. And the Uluru games remind me of the Olympics. Don't you think? It all comes back together. Her ultimate is a boost that also damages more if enemy has 15 burn. Ah. On her ult is a team buff. Mmm. Interesting. Okay, it's time to do. There we go. Whenever I deeply focus, sparks will be conjured around me. Oh. I used to believe that's my arcane skill, and my friends always described it as Flammy is on fire! <laughs> it sounds kind of cool to that's me, actually. Cute. <laughs> Get her to I2. I will work on that. <laughs> did you check the up? It's I did. <sighs> They're really attacking us. I feel attacked. Yes, but when teamed up with guys like Sotheby and Ulu, it's chump change. <laughs> Did you check her outfit? Oh, I didn't check hers. Let's see. What are their insight to outfits? That's true. Maybe... Maybe we can bring fire dance back to the game. <laughs> fire dancing. She wants to bring back fire dance. Ooh! She's on the broom! The branch broom flying thing that was in the story! Ooh! Ooh! She looks so... tan. Ooh! She looks... It's like such a nice transformation from her usual... This is like her casual fit. And she's like, yeah, her shoes. I want her shoes. She like has a champion belt that's from like Gucci on her waist. What is this? She's sponsored by Gucci. Ozzy Garu. And then Uli. Wow, another worshiper. <laughs> <laughs> Have a seat. Fire worshiper. This one I'm interested in too. Oh! She like gets the black little pin here. She's just cuddled up. Cute. She's so cute. <laughs> I like the casual better. They're both so nice. I like how they're different. I feel like a lot of the the insight outfits are quite similar from the base outfit. So I feel like the Spano Dio one, it's a nice transformation. She's like the Olympic flame. Yeah, she's like the Olympic flame and she does the whole Olympic ring thing in her alt. She's the flame sitting in the ring. Very cute. All right, I think we'll end off here for today. <laughs> we'll end off here today, but thank you so much for joining us at the version 1.5 story. I'm excited to see where it goes when they go off on their little, uh, their little, their little crew. They formed a unit now to go off and scout for the ooh woo woo the ooh woo woo games. Yes, yes, yes. And I can't believe our gotcha luck today. We are insane. We are insane. <laughs> Next stream will be tomorrow, same time, 8 p.m. EST, 5 p.m. PST. We're doing a collab with SS Isa, who is another VTuber who streams here on YouTube. And we'll be doing a Honkai 
、Star Rail、Smash or Pass. Yes, 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 yes. We'll be looking at any characters that I've met already from 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 our playthrough up to this time. Yeah, and it'll be 8 p.m. EST, 5 p.m. PST. So everyone we've met so far in Bola Bag, Bola Bag, Bola Bog, Bola Bog, and before. And Essa Sisa, she also is not that familiar with Star Rail, so it'll be interesting seeing her opinion there as well. So we'll see each other tomorrow. Otsu hand, otsu otsu otsu. Awa. The luck. It's mine. It's all mine. Are you including the characters you pulled? Yes. <laughs> See you next time.